More info tonight on why a favorite finalist on American Idol has quit the contest. Ow. Mario Vasquez claimed family issues. His mom told the New York Post yeah. she has no clue what that means, but she supports it. Oh, geez. Wow. Well, that's quite the mystery, huh? Oh, yes. Quite the mystery. Mm -hmm. I, I heard that uh, Mario Vasquez, who was certainly one of the best, if not the best, remaining on American Idol, uh, signed a record contract with another company, and uh, he didn't want to sign the contract that every other finalist signs that basically tells you that you are pretty much a slave to the American Idol uh, affiliates mm -hmm. and the record company attachments that go along with American Idol for the rest of uh, pretty much his, his youth. Right. He didn't want to sign 50% of his earnings away for the next some odd years. <laughs> he didn't want to sign those slavery-type contracts that American Idol makes the top 12 sign for the pleasure of being a finalist and dealing with all the pressure of uh, shortening your life oh, and, <laughs> and all, that, uh, all the good stuff that comes with being on national TV under those kind of circumstances. Yeah. So he used them to get a name for himself. Great! And you know what? This is a bad trend for American Idol. Because if other record companies, I'm surprised it took them this long, start figuring out who the real talent is. Shouldn't take them more than a couple of minutes of watching on American Idol and they start signing these people before the show is even over. American Idol will be done if all their best talent starts slipping away from them before the show has even come to its conclusion. Mm-hmm. They they hit got hit pretty hard losing Mario Vasquez. I guarantee you Mario Vasquez is not just denying to sign that contract unless he knows he has something waiting in the wings for him. Some record company came and whispered his in, into his ear, you don't need to go any further. We've seen you. We know what you got. We're ready to sign you right now. Don't sign that slave contract that everyone else is going to sign. We know how good you are. We'll sign you right now. Yeah, probably. Okay. And all that's left is Simon. Mm -hmm. huh. Don't you think they signed something at the beginning, though, that says they can't do that kind of stuff? They may have to start making them do that now. Oh, right at the tryout. Right at the tryout. If you want to be on this show, you cannot... In mid <laughs> Well, you can't. <laughs> you can't tell, you can't make someone sign something that says, hey, no matter what happens to you during the show, you have to sign whatever we tell you to sign. Right. I bet everybody would still go on the show. How did well, I'll tell you what. So Mario Vasquez uh, is out, but I hear Mario Lopez is now available to oh. take his place. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yes. I hear he's a real talent. They've canceled the Saved by the Bell <laughs> Six Reunion show. Damn and, it. Uh, yeah. Mario <laughs> Lopez. We all lose now. Yeah. Mar Mario Lopez has called American Idol, telling them he is available. Phew. Mm -hmm. He's not married anymore. That's right. That only took a week. I know. So now we don't know, get to know what Zach's doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, Zach's NYPD blue days are over. Oh, jeez. Wow. Well, they do a hell of a duet, though, those two. <laughs> Have you seen Mario Vasquez, Terry? Have you watched American Idol? Um, a little bit, but I'm not as familiar with him the, as The ladies the past, liked him. So. The girls liked him. And uh, he was a top three talent on that show easily. Oh, yeah. And now, in a unprecedented American Idol move. He said, screw the top ten. I'm out of here. Mm. Well, Kelly Clarkson thinking I should have done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she's doing okay, isn't yeah. she? Well, but they get all the money, right? Yeah. They get 50% of everything she makes. Right. and then That's a lot. And then the 50% she does get, she has to give to all the people that she's hired and all that other right. stuff. And what's left is Minimum wage! <laughs> That's why she still has a second job. <laughs> hey, you may as well make subs. I thought I saw her the other day asking me paper or plastic. <laughs> Anyhow. Like, aren't you, um... Mm -hmm. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Now, <laughs> now bag my groceries. Right. <laughs> so I guess... Wow. We should uh, salute Mario Vasquez for... Pulling one over on American Idol. A salute to you. Yes. <laughs> what else is going on in the world, Terry? What else is happening? Well, uh, Ashton Kutcher, yesterday I said that there was a rumor that uh, Demi was pregnant. He's saying, no, she is not. Mm -hmm. So there you go. He got punked. And, yeah. <laughs> in fact, he says, you know, why am, I, why am I the last person to ever find out about anything? Wow. You know, that kind of thing. So but she's not pregnant. Just well, let you know that. Angela knew she was pregnant about two weeks before she told me. 
<laughs> really? Yes, saving it for a, a big Memorial Day weekend Florida surprise. A wow. moment like that. I mean, a well, moment well, like that. You, know, you don't hold on to that information for a big, even though it was a big <laughs> surprise. And I was uh, overwhelmed, overwhelmed with joy. And, and it was really cool the way she did it and everything. Really? Did the she fact, bring it out in a little box and all wrapped up with a little announcement well, or something like that? She wrapped up. Uh, she told us the story. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Sean was with me. Uh, that's a whole long story. You don't hear it. <laughs> Anyhow. Terry, you were here that yeah, day. Sean had a memory. She knew. I, I don't remember, yeah. probably. Even with, uh, <laughs> even with the great surprise and the way it all went down, mm -hmm. when she told me that she's known, that she knew that she was pregnant for two weeks, I was like, how do you, how do you not tell me? How do you do that? Well, so I'm the daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know, women, you just never know. It's such a fragile oh, there are, oh, state. There, there's no doubt about that. There are women that don't tell their husbands for the first two, three months. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the damn. Because they don't know whose it is. <laughs> yeah, right. And then they tell them even though they still don't know. They just figure out. They, they talked uh, it out enough in, uh, in a mirror to be able to get the <laughs> whole spiel down to make it sound convincing that it is his. Yeah, hoping that he won't try and do the math. And it's the last time that they had sex. All right. Well, luckily, men are not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I only have seven months here. Right. <laughs> this know. doesn't add up. Hold up. I was in Antigua. <laughs> <All right>. Anyhow. <laughs> so that's uh, something that even if Ashton Kutcher was the last to know, he shouldn't be shocked. Women do that stuff. Women do that crap. <laughs> did you tell Did you tell J.D.? He was with me the whole process. Fine. I would hope, Terry. Wow. Uh, well, because you ever. did the in vitro, so he knew. <laughs> I know about the, oh, the in vitro. That's right. I forgot yeah. about that. I guess my memory's going to. Oh, okay. Well, mine went before you yours. Know, so he's there at the, the doctor's ass, office. I think he knows. All right, what about all the other dudes that impregnated you, Terry? <laughs> right. What all about 50 all... of them? Yeah. yeah. As, soon as, as soon as she found them, she told them right, right. away. I said, oh, there you are. As, I've been looking for you for As years. soon as she got him to veer off the highway, <laughs> yeah. onto the shoulder, yeah. she told them. Right. Some of the guys were pre-internet, so they were tougher to track down. <laughs> right. So I guess uh, you're not a situation like that. But uh, a lot of women... For whatever right. reason, well, yeah. no for days or even weeks and months mm -hmm. without telling the man who's the daddy. Right. A lot of them are trying to, you know, get a grip and realize that, oh, my gosh, I am pregnant with that man's child. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not saying that's your situation. No, 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 no. But no, my situation, uh, <laughs> Angela just wanted to make it a big surprise. Right. Yeah. That's what she told me. And that, no, just... that worked in some Good. ways and in uh, yeah. a small way. I was kind of like... How, how could you know and not, and not tell me? <laughs> but you weren't glad that she surprised you. It could have you. changed my whole life by now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys start thinking, what else does she not tell me? <laughs> <laughs> if she's just going to keep it oh secret. Oh, my God. See? <laughs> well, You're man, just so suspectful. Well, people think like that, Terry. And I was about to say men think like that, but women think that, like that even more. What other secrets might she have? <laughs> She's able to keep such a good one for t that's one of the biggest. How do you how do you not explode and and just uh, whether you want to well, try to keep it a secret or not? Yeah, it's one of those things. Oh, I couldn't keep it a secret. It was just too. It was just too cool. It was just, uh, I'm sure yeah. it was very difficult for her to keep it from. Didn't you. seem like it. <laughs> <laughs> she how many other secrets she able to keep so soundly, Terry? At some point, you would have seen her with her head inside the whole jar of pickles. So then you would have known. <laughs> and I think. Then you would have said, mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that happened way before she was pregnant. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that wouldn't have given it away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so Ashton Kutcher is yeah. uh, letting us know. As, as, long, as far as he knows, she's not pregnant. He's not about to be a daddy. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, and so if, if she was pregnant, he said it would be news to him. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. the last one to find out. I guess he's got to read the Inquirer or whatever. Uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Well, he unfortunately signed a contract. He has to give 50% of that baby to a record company. Oh. <laughs> the T-Man. Our 42-year-old Demi Moore and 27-year-old Ashton Kutcher having a baby? Oh, geez. There you go, Terry. Published reports say Demi is almost eight weeks pregnant. Last month, Ashton told Oprah he's very close to Demi's and Bruce Willis's three children, and they even call him their second dad. Mm. Demi's reps tell Extra, quote, although having another child is something Demi would like to do, yeah. unfortunately she can't at this time say she is pregnant. Oh! They call him Maud, my other dad. And then there's Maud. <laughs> M-O-D. Mm-hmm. I was reading that in the People magazine. That's what they call Ashton Kutcher. Yes. The kids call him Maud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Because Bruce Willis, for some reason, is on the cover, and he's, like, really hot. Right. Talking about how sexy he is. Oh, and, geez. And so they did a big interview with him and how he gets along with Ashton Kutcher and all that stuff. Uh, sure. So. 
But the kids call him Maud. Uh huh. M O D, my other dad. I got it. How now, cute. It's got to be Maud. <laughs> I know. You're saying Maud. No, you're saying Maud. I said Maud. <laughs> and the difference there is? <laughs> Maud. Mm hmm. Maud. <laughs> We, we did this with Kilbert. <laughs> oh, jeez. How, how is it supposed to be pronounced? Well, I would think M-O-D would be Maud. But you're saying Maud. Okay. And there's one thing <laughs> oh, that Maud reminds me of, Terry. What's that? If you're saying they call him Maud, uh -huh. it reminds me do. of when I was about six years old. Yeah? And my parents would gather around the TV oh, to really? watch Maud. <laughs> You have no idea what I'm playing here, do you? <laughs> you know she was. Well, that's the truth. The country was falling apart. Betsy Ross got it all sold up. Oh. And then there's Ashton Kutcher, too. <laughs> he looks like B. Arthur. <laughs> That's what you're saying. You're saying Maud. Oh. Yeah, they don't make TV themes like that anymore, too. I know they don't. <laughs> they just don't do it. No. <laughs> so how do you pronounce what they call I Ashton said, Kutcher? I say Maud. You say what now? Maud. Well, that's exactly what he's saying on the, on the, <laughs> and you, on the TV jingle. And don't you say there. the same thing? I say mod. <laughs> okay. Mod. Odd. Not mod. Oh. You're, you're saying M, the, the oh. mod, the mod that he's singing about is M-A-U-D-E. <laughs> I know that. But you're saying mod. That's how we say it out here, though. We don't say mod. Well, you don't pronu pronounce your letters properly out here. We're <laughs> 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 cut and dry. <laughs> Bowl. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> Don't ask me who the Sonic boy is. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? I do. Are you a sister that really cooks? Oh, really cooks. Were you the first bra burner? <laughs> burner? Burner. Betsy Ross got it all sold up. And then there's Maud. Then there's Maud. And then there's John Joe. <laughs> Good morning. It's the best thing I've been on Michael Jackson's trial. It masturbated. Uh, I realized that Jermaine Jackson was my brother. <laughs> it's Joan Joan, Terry. <laughs> oh, good morning, and I have a radio morning flashback. Okay, Joan Joan, what is your flashback Wait. for the morning? Go ahead. <laughs> it's Sound effects. flashback for the day of 2000. This is what a gay phone operator had to say. And it was just killing me as I searched through the archives this morning. <laughs> okay. And I found this archive moment. Okay, John John is into the annals of the show. Oh he has gone through the archives. <laughs> oh, yes. So you made it on time? I work in a different office today. It's closer to home. You work in a different office today? They're moving you from office to office? Oh, no, yeah, they're not They got this Febreze one office. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. There's no reason to react with such unbelievable, uh, dramatic-like ways this morning. This is just a list that determines who's a little bit more impactful than who. What's the big deal? And it's just, it's temporary. Yeah, that's true. That you got to remember that. It's always temporary. You know, oh, Terry, you sound like a girl. No. Why? I don't, I don't care. You know what? You're going to do what you want. Where do you... Let me you ask you. treat people... Okay. Let me ask you this. How do I treat people? I treat people with the... Ad you know, it doesn't matter because somebody can do as much as they can. And you still put them where you want them. And make them feel like a piece of crap. Does Terry make people feel like a piece of crap? No, you. That's what you I do. Yourself. You make the decision. You can tell the focus group what you want and where you want them. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you. Let's pretend you're my focus group. All right. That's where do you focus. see yourself on the dysfunctional family list? I should be in the top ten. I'm glad don't be one. Yeah, Jimmy needs to be number one. I'm glad that he won Sim City Survivor. He deserves that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, John, John, very good. You can stop the tape. Yeah, yeah, John, John, talking over the tape was the only thing I'm. I'm no, go ahead, go ahead, okay. Timmy. I can hear you. Yes, uh, that's good to know, John, John. Uh, <laughs> I need the, the fact that John, John has audio tapes in his archives in his studio apartment of old shows, Terry, that he can play, and he has he has categorized as far right. as date and time and all that other fun stuff. That was uh, what? How many years ago did he say? A year or two ago? Yeah, he said 2003, uh, he, didn't he? Oh, so it's the two-year anniversary of that. Uh, I guess so. He's actually going to run his own best stuff on the chat line later. Well, so I was you wondering, can to that. you know, when when um, we were gone on a little hiatus, did he like record the best ofs all over again? So uh, he's got two of. Them. I, I don't know, Terry, <laughs> but he's very thorough as far as keeping oh, audio tapes rolling. Yeah. At all times. It's the one thing right in his life. <laughs> yeah, the one thing. <laughs> mm hmm. John, John. Yes, good morning, c -Man. Yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow morning to <laughs> no, find no, out what it's the more. anniversary of. And that, that was just the end of the CD, but wait until it gets to the breakdown point mm -hmm. of Jason O'Brien screaming, okay. hollering, yes, and looking right. like a little bit. All right, yes. Wow, screaming and hollering. You're probably not unfamiliar with that. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, let's call Gay Phone Opera. I'm surprised he hasn't called in. Mm -hmm. Based on the fact that uh, John John keeps a record of anniversary <laughs> dates of his meltdowns. I'm surprised he hasn't called in to comment. Wow. But let us call him to see if he has any comment or reaction to the fact that uh, John John has made us aware that we are celebrating a very special anniversary this morning. One of Gay's famous meltdowns is two years old as of wow. this very yeah. second. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Happy birthday. And thanks to John John, we are aware of that. Sure he already has a cake. I'm aware of the fact that gay phone operator okay. meltdown and has now. a meltdown. Take it easy. Every time marshmallows. <laughs> he, didn't even, he, didn't even, he didn't even finish a joke, Terry, and yet he laughed at himself. But you know, John, but I, I laugh too. So that, that's a pretty good routine he has. He doesn't even need to tell jokes. Yes, he doesn't even need to finish a joke. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be funny. Let's see if Gay is listening and has any reaction. Oh, if I'm available, I'll answer the phone. Oh, goody. We go on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's changed his voice, message, tune, Terry. I guess he feels this is more appropriate at this point in his life. We go on hurting each other by the carpenters. Hello? Yes. A gay? What? Can't we stop? Terry wants to sing more with you. <laughs> I gay. love that song. Do you wish the interlude was longer? I do. <laughs> Again. What? Have you uh, been listening to the program over the past couple of minutes? John John brought to our attention a very special anniversary that apparently we overlooked this morning, but thanks to... Uh, uh, people like John John out there in the listening audience, he makes us aware of uh, an anniversary that can't go overlooked. One of your famous meltdowns is celebrating its two-year anniversary today. Happy birthday. Yeah, I'm so excited. Woo! Mm -hmm. Do you have any comment on what John John just played? Did you hear the meltdown that he just reminded us of? Yeah. And do you have any comment? Yeah, I still feel the same way. You still feel the same way wow. you did two years ago? So yeah, that... because you still have me like number 17, and that's bull. You know, and I was just going to ask you, are we going to reshuffle anytime soon so that maybe, Jay, we've you know. been trying desperately to phase out the dysfunctional family. I mean, uh, I, did I say that on the air? Oh, geez. I think you said that out loud. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, the focus group, don't we have to but we'll never them all together? We'll never be able to phase you out, Gay. That's just not possible, and you know that. Gay's like the anno annoying pop-up on your computer. You <laughs> oh, just can't yeah. seem to X out mm -hmm. as much as you try. <laughs> now, now, Gay, you have to realize... <laughs> After what's transpired since that day two years ago, that you are more appreciated than you let on on that morning, right or wrong? I feel the same way. You feel the same way? You feel like I treat people like crap, like I'm a bad man? Yep. Huh? That's the Carpenter song. <laughs> did, did you hear the email that I read yesterday that points out that people out there have a difference of opinion? I, I would be able to read that email right now, but Pasty Day threw it away. <laughs> oh. oh, too bad. Mm -hmm. Along with all the other emails that I had that I brought in. It took me how long to, to finally remember to bring those in, Terry? Mm, just like a week or so. That's right. Well, it seemed like a, an eternity. I brought in all those well, emails yesterday. I left them here in the studio after the show. I asked for them this morning. Oh, Pasty, uh, I'm actually kind of glad that someone's cleaning up around here. But <laughs> he threw them all away. Were they, were they in a nice, neat pile somewhere that said, please don't throw away? I could print them out again, Terry, but that'll oh, take a couple go. of months. Anyhow. Okay. <laughs> it's like the librarian throwing away your library book when you bring mm -hmm. it back. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, gay. 
And that woman was ridiculous. Oh, she, you heard that email that I read yesterday. Yeah, I heard it. I was at work. I couldn't call the in. Woman said, the woman who said, T-Man, anyone who listens to the program regularly knows how big a heart you truly have. Oh, it is so big. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's a boner of a heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you don't I agree with that? I can't see that boner. <laughs> oh, jeez. You don't agree. Uh, I shouldn't have phrased it that way. No, wrong guy. Yeah, right. You don't agree with that statement, Gay? You don't agree that this woman, has, uh, she said she tried to call you. You didn't return her call. She wow. says that she's listened to all the offers we've made you that you just keep uh, uh, scoffing at. And Did all I the expect you to return everybody's call? I have, I have oh, I didn't realize you're so busy. Right. You know, these celebrities, they need their privacy, yeah. Terry. You can't return everyone's phone no. call that calls them from the program. No, wait a minute. She called and she offered advice and she said that if I wanted to call her and, and get support for having that surgery, to feel free to call at any time. I chose not to have the surgery, so there was no reason to call her. Well, maybe she would have liked to heard from you. Maybe she's a fan of yours. Probably not any longer. You but... don't return all your phone calls, and I don't care if they're from me or not. <laughs> but that's not the point. Hmm. <laughs> He calls me a bad guy, and he doesn't return. This woman who was supporting him, who was giving him advice, who mm -hmm. was offering a helping hand, who was offering a, a shoulder to lean on, Terry. Yep. He doesn't even return her phone call. He doesn't if, want If that. it's not from a Greek tycoon offering Mercedes, <laughs> he doesn't return the messages. Whatever, and I close try to the respond to every message that I get. All right. So something that I don't no, know you only return the messages of people that uh, make fun of you. You only return the messages of people that uh, have things negative to say about you. People who like you, people who are fans of yours, people who have nice things to say, you ignore them. Doesn't you don't want to hear from them. That's no, the truth. That's who you are. That's how crazy a person you are. Every email that I get that's positive. That's how insane you are. You're crazier than John John. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This is a flashback oh, to the moment. Not. A gay star over here having a breakdown. Mm -hmm. Operator. He's so phone operator. Shit, he's got them all. Yeah, he does. A good morning. 2000. This is a bunch of crap. The focus group can go to hell, and you can override the focus group. You have in the past. You know what always is what laid down as law. We didn't hire the first focus group in 2002. I've been here in my life for six and a half years to this show, and the first time that I put my knees in front uh -oh. of the damn show, this is how you reward me. I've done everything I've been asked to do, anything I can do, and you fucking... My dad. Oh, yeah. He's a little upset. Not the F word again? No. Okay. <laughs> Flip him. Gay phone operator ever said the F word on no. the show before, Terry? Not that I recall. Oh, and he is Jay going to work, and he's. And he's huh? Okay, John John, thanks for that. Yeah, we, we get it. Yeah, we, we get the point, John John. It all comes down to contributions, and you have given us nothing! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a memorized. John John has a memorized. Like his yes. favorite song, so he called Journal Graphics. He got the transcript. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. terrific, John John. Yeah, oh. yes, Terry. Um, in defense of gay. Yes. Let's see. Can we play some uh, John John breakdown, well, we some meltdown, some we, we all could, kinds? Terry. I mean, because John John's acting like he's never had a breakdown. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's have a little anniversary of admit, John John's meltdown. Yes, we can play stuff, but we're in a radio station, Terry, so <laughs> you would think we'd have some tapes lying around. Sure. The fact that John John in his studio apartment <laughs> has all these things recorded, Terry, all these old shows that are just at his fingertips... Uh, that's what's fascinating to me. Right. I understand yeah. that. I understand that. Mm. But but like I said, in all fairness to gay... I mean, all I have to do is push a button, then you'll hear... I don't care. Oh, whatever. I don't give a sh You know, whatever. I don't f everybody. I don't f No one asks what the f guy that vote for me. <laughs> right. Anytime you want to hear something like Terry, Terry like that, it's there. <laughs> Tomorrow's the anniversary, I think I heard. I know. Oh, no, wait a minute. Is tomorrow the anniversary <laughs> of this? Hey, anybody home in this f***ing <laughs> house? <laughs> hey, you home? Answer the phone. Or, uh, I pick up the phone. 
I, I do it. Hey, I do, do call. F I call the, uh, no, the number, the number. What is it? Yeah, the hotline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anybody f do it for me? I f hate everybody. It's the anniversary, <laughs> Terry, of that tomorrow. You can expect that on the program. Oh. Uh, it, Gay it. will break out the tapes at his home right. and play that for us over the phone line. Okay. So tomorrow we find out. You know what? And the breakdowns are a little bit different. My yes. breakdowns are legitimate. Oh, jeez. So you have legitimate breakdowns, and uh, yes, breakdowns John John has drunk. alcohol <laughs> in related <laughs> induced breakdowns. I have breakdowns because I feel like I've been treated like crap. Because in mm -hmm. that situation, yes, I was punished because I had yes. to take a job. Uh, and, yeah, and Gay's uh, breakdowns are completely justified when he's lowered in the dysfunctional family list. Terry, yeah. it's very much warranted that you would have a meltdown on the highway and mm -hmm. uh, put in jeopardy your fellow commuters' yeah. Yeah. Right, because... life. <laughs> You're and crying. and safety because you have been lowered on the dysfunctional family list. It's very justified. <laughs> his <laughs> breakdown. As upset as he gets, he should say he's drunk. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine yeah. if he got in an accident in Washington State Patrols and you know what's yeah. the problem here? And he's just... I, I was lowered on the dysfunctional <laughs> family list. <laughs> right. Some in the uh, listening audience, gay, may come to the phone lines and uh, say that your breakdowns less justified than an alcohol-induced breakdown. I don't think so. Oh, Move them up I to number six. I was like crap, and I was upset about that. What? I was sitting outside my job bawling oh, because of the way you guys were treating me, mm. and I had to go into work. Which the job that I have, which in about a month I'll be there a year. Oh, Yay! Let's well, have a big party. If we didn't know that, Terry Judge, I would have reminded oh, us. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. don't worry. Uh -huh. Wow, that's exciting. A year of employment, gay? Like yeah. a whole year? Wow. <laughs> in a row? <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. Terry. That's awesome. He's due to get a gold watch and live the rest of his life off the pension. Wow, very mm -hmm. cool. You've accrued one vacation day. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> and when do you plan on using that? Do you hear how, uh, how, well, pathetic is the only word that's coming to my mind. You sound when you say something like that. You've been working 11 months. You want kudos. Uh, you're I didn't ask for kudos. I'm just letting mm -hmm. people know that everybody said I was going to lose my job. You're a 35-year-old man who's worked 11 straight months, and he wants props, Terry. Wow. How did you do it? Amazing. Cowbell. That isn't why I said it. You know it, you asshole. Oh, Whoa. That's Mr. Asshole, and you know that. <laughs> If you haven't learned that over the years, then I don't know what you've learned. It says it on your name tag. You don't deserve the respect to be called Mister. Okay. You're just a plain old asshole. Oh, wow. Just a plain old one. That's usually, that That's usually what he orders at the bathhouse on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a plain old asshole right. and a platter. Right. And I'll be on my way. Catch a bully, actually. That's right. <laughs> a gay. What? Have a great. Gay, gay. Oh, jeez. Are you? Oh, yes. Oh, are you going to ask him another question? <laughs> well, it's actually good that he hung up, Terry, because the other question I was going to ask him, now I can call back and hear his uh, voicemail message. Oh, again. goody. The carpenters. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask him something about that voicemail message. If that's supposed to be taken seriously, uh -huh. that, that that's what he believes. If I'm available. Yeah. Directed towards you? <laughs> yes, it directed towards you. We go on hurting each other. That song is so fitting for him in so many ways. Could it sound any more gay? <laughs> Definitely hanging up from calling him and hearing that. What? A gay. What? I wanted to uh, have you comment on the voicemail message that you've now decided to leave for all the outgoing, well, all the people that call into you. Uh, is that supposed to mean anything? Should we... Should we read into that? The we can't go, we, what is it? We can't go on hurting each other. Can't we, we stop Is that what it is? Each other? Is that the, what are the exact words, Gay? We go on hurting each other? Yeah. And is that supposed to be and symbolic? Why. Is that supposed to be symbolic of something? Do you feel what like do you, think? you believe that people continue to go on hurting you? And, and, and I'm assuming that we're part of that cluster of people that keep hurting you. Or, or, I think we're the only people that keep hurting him. I no, think that's no. By offering yes, thirty thousand dollar wagers and surgeries well, but to you better took his that life. Back, remember, remember the goddamn bet. Uh -huh. And by the way, did Dr. Tony Mangubat give you a Doctor, call? By the way, Dr. Tony called the station saying he wanted Gay to do the procedure that he had in line for him more than ever now. So if that is something, well, what do you contract do because they all contacted me. Oh, 
Uh, he called us the day that uh, I guess we last spoke with you, which was sometime last week. So he's back from vacation. Give him a yeah, call. Yeah, give him mm -hmm. a call. Well, he hasn't called me. He hasn't responded to He's email. supposed to call what you. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay. Call, call him. him. Mm -hmm. I'm calling. Oh. I have messages. Call. I'm not going to bug the man on his goddamn call. Job. Call today. Is it always just a, a voicemail at his office? Never, I mean, do you talk it's to people? I've emailed and I've left a message. I'm not going to bug the man. They're offering me stuff. I'm not going to bug them until they want to hate me. You know, I agree with it. your outgoing new tune, Gay, <laughs> but the we that they're speaking of as it pertains to your life, when you look in the mirror, you can identify as me, myself, and I. <laughs> What's that now? Oh, oh, wow. Sure. <laughs> Rainy days and Mondays always get you down. Oh, man. <laughs> Every sha la la la. Every whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Will shine game. Again. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with him, man? He's the weirdest guy I've ever known. No question. <laughs> <sighs> no, we should blame it on the focus group, I think. The damn focus Move up group. To 16. Why Come did on. you do that? What's that now, Terry? The focus group. Why did you even, you it's know? A, Terry, the focus group is a very talented uh, core of But they're evil. They're all against gay. Yeah, well, maybe we can hire uh, the Carpenters and Abba <laughs> next time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Two of his favorite groups to figure out where he belongs. <laughs> the T-Man. Heads up! Friend, that Ursa John and Lou. Hit me! To get on board and go to Vegas with the cube staff thingy. That seems pretty senseless, but whatever. If you prefer the buffet over the pool, then please don't call us. A little less conversation, a little more action. Ow! All this aggravation ain't satisfaction in me. Uh, Yes, team man. Less bomb, less fight, little more you know, this is the time that we're supposed to qualify someone. We're in the final two weeks now of every day there being a winner for the party plane of Vegas. All right? Gotcha. The plane to Vegas doesn't leave in too long a time, Terry. We leave at the end of this month. You know yesterday morning... I brought down, what, how many emails did I have? About 100 emails? Something like I that. printed out my favorite 100. Mm -hmm. I had them right here in front of me. I was reading them to you. And I've told people the best way to qualify, at least on this program, is through your emails, through your fancy writing. Yeah. <laughs> and through you pour, you're pouring out of your heart and soul through your computer. That's the best way. It still is the best way for you to qualify for the next two weeks. However, today... I have no emails in front of me because the emails I brought down yesterday that I was going to use to qualify people, a pasty day threw away. Oh, yeah. It must be part of the frustration of being a virgin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Uh, what did that do? Oh, yeah. You know, I will. Hopefully you put them in the recycling bin. Though. Oh, geez. So the, uh, well, would they still be there? I don't care if they have, like, cheese nip on them. Let's uh, pull them out of the garbage if I have to. They're not what? What are you telling me? They're not around? Okay, they're, they're in some landfill. Some, what was that? Not <laughs> they're in some landfill dump right now? Oh, it was taken away by the janitorial staff overnight. Is that what you're saying? Oh, and if you would have known that I wanted to keep them here, you would have done something about it. Oh, and you love your pappy. Okay, and your mammy. Okay, and Sissy Sisterson. Okay. Oh, and who? Oh, okay. That's terrific. Uh, Terry, so this morning we will not qualify someone by email. Oh, I'm really? going to just jump on the phones, and the first person that kind of uh, catches <laughs> our interest is going to qualify this morning. It's going to be that simple. It's going to be that open and shut. It's going to be that quick uh, process this morning. I'm not going <laughs> to belabor the situation. I'm just going to... I'm just going to pick someone on the phone lines, but before we jump on the lines, yes. why don't you give me a quick story or two? What do you have there? Well, some bad news for uh, Hotshot Scott. Quentin Tarantino does not want to direct a Friday the 13th movie as previously reported. Mm. Unfortunate. Now we don't want him anyway. Yeah, right. You don't want it to be any good. Move along to Kill Bill 3. <laughs> hack. Well, I don't know so. if he's a hack. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm sure your Friday the 13th Part 7 was certainly not a hack movie. It was terrific. We got to go higher than that. I, oh. I know. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I know 7 that, was a good one. It yeah. must be up to what? About 14 now? 
10 was space. Okay, you know what? Freddie vs. Jason was 11. I really don't want you to rack your brain here. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Anyhow. Yes. Uh, okay, so Quentin Tarantino has declined yeah. the offer for him right. to uh, direct the next Friday the 13th movie. Right. What so. else? What else, Terry? Uh, I'm sure the world will move on and persevere. Right. Go ahead. But yes. This is actually Please something kind of kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, have you ever tried uh, breast milk? What's that now? Have you ever tried breast milk? Angela's breastfeeding, right? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, if you must know, Terry, yes, I poured it over my Cocoa Puffs no. yesterday. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you well, want no, me to tell you? Well, uh, no, I'm I wondering have... if you've ever actually tried it. No! Really? Okay, well, according to a recent survey, 33% of fathers have 33% tried. of fathers have tried breast milk. Yes. Well, maybe I will put it over my cereal tomorrow. <laughs> If that's the case, Terry. Guess they have a lot of curiosity mm. about the breast milk, so they... I will tell you taste. this. I kind of enjoy the scent of uh, little Jaden's vomit. Really? Yes, yeah, he threw up on my shoulder the other day. Is this is this kind of grossing you out? And, no. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't take off my shirt right away, and through the rest of the day, I found myself <laughs> moving my nose over oh, to his puke right. so I could smell it because it actually smelled kind of good. Well, yeah. And, and then in that same token, Terry, someone threw up in my car the other day. Someone uh -huh. threw up in the front passenger seat of my car. <laughs> I took it to get detailed, thinking that they would uh, be able to get the shampoo, the smell right out of there. Sure. It still reeks. <laughs> I'm going to trade that bitch in now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to because it's hard to get that smell It out. won't go away. Right. And I can't stand it. Right. I'm driving with my head out the window. <laughs> well, you know, baby throw up is a lot different than... It is. Oh, yeah. Just, there, we're just dealing with breast milk. That's all you're dealing with. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And it we, smells better than the enchilada platter coming up <laughs> right. nine years behind it. Okay. It smells a little better. Well, so, wait so till that's you, why yes. that's why baby Jaden's little mm -hmm. throw up smells good. Yeah. Because he has nothing in him but, yes. uh, but breast milk. That's right. I see. Wait till the, the salt that you start introducing foods and juices and stuff. Oh, you'll oh, be like, mm, nah, don't like the smell. Mm hmm. So. Uh, it all makes sense to me now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's fascinating. It is. Matter of fact, I'm still wearing that shirt here. Today. Wow. <laughs> Take I wonder a big why whip. I can smell on your shoulder. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. For some reason, you're just trying to you know, outside it's a, I'm just playing. I don't know why Hot Shot's still smelling my show. <laughs> All right, let me go to the phones and see who wants to qualify for a trip to Vegas. And then later this morning, we'll announce the winner of yesterday's qualifiers. Yay. Later this morning, we'll announce that the Caribbean model for Terry Free is going to be on board. All right? Uh, why, why build the suspense? You know who's going to be picked. That's right. If you heard yesterday, you know what we're talking about. If not, well, that's your problem. <laughs> Anyhow, you're on the air. Hello. Oh, man, it's so nice not hearing Jimmy Fred's voice answer the phone anymore. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. How you, do How you doing, T? How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. I'm just hoping to qualify this morning, if that's okay. Well, if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, pretty uh, casual about it, huh? Who might you be? Who are you, sir? My name is John. I'm calling from Lake Forest Park. Now, John, you heard that we pretty much have uh, secured our token mail for the trip to, to Vegas, so why would we need you, John? Well, I, I don't are you know a, if Are you a Caribbean or... black model? Uh, well, I'm not black. I could probably oh. slide into the model category. Yeah. I, I right. Right. <laughs> model, model citizen, of course. <laughs> model airplane. What, uh, what do you want us to know about you, John? Uh, well, I... You know, I, I suppose I'm. I could be your sort of your token all around nice guy. I, oh, of course. I'm the the type of guy who's who's going to be respectful, but still have a good time. And uh, you know, I'm not going to go out there, and I'm not going to be. What do you do, everybody. John? <laughs> <laughs> what kind John, of what do you what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I work for an escrow company. An escort company, and how's that working out for you? Oh, escort. Not an escort. Of course not. All good no, guys work for escort. Yeah, right. all good Exciting guys are very too. respectful. And uh, are you married there, John? No, I'm not, sir. You're not. Are you uh, involved with anyone seriously? Uh, I am actually. You are involved with some uh, lady, I'm imagining. Yeah, that would be correct. Oh, yeah. On a serious <laughs> level, and uh, because of that, if you win this trip, you'll be forced to keep your relationship on a good standing, you'd be forced to have to take her with you, right or wrong? Uh, Don't lie not, about to, not, not to take her with me, but I would be forced to be uh, courteous of our relationship and, and maintain that while I'm in Las Vegas. So you're saying, and if she's listening right now, she knows now, if she didn't know it before, that if you win this trip, you can go without her. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, she she probably would not be coming with me. Well, don't. So. No, the, it's not probably's anymore. If you're right. selected, not that you're that you're even close, John. But if you're selected, what we're establishing right now 
is the only way we'll consider you now, because you've said it, is if you win this thing, you can't take her with you. Are you ready to uh, commit to that right now, John? I will commit to that right now. Mm -hmm. yes, wow. Girlfriend's not coming. Girlfriend's not, not coming. worthy. Ooh. Apparently, Terry. I guess not. They're not that close, uh, is what she should be taking from this. Isn't that right, John? Uh... You're not that well, serious with her that you that you should be taking her to Vegas is pretty much the message here. Is that fair to I, say? I wouldn't call her not worthy, but she definitely would not be coming. Well, you're not serious oh. enough with her, apparently, right? You, it's not a serious couple. Uh, no, we're a serious couple. Well, they you are. can't be, John, if you don't want to take her with you, and that's what it comes down to. You don't want to take her. You, you should want to. Such a nice guy. Yeah, <laughs> good, good, respectful guy. <laughs> Leave her at home. Mm-hmm. She can't come. <laughs> So if she's listening or any of her friends are listening and you oh, love to hear the story God. through friends day, oh, yeah. uh, she should know that she's not uh, a, a strong enough girlfriend in your life to take uh, her with you, right or wrong. Well, is Vegas really considered a vacation? Of course it is, oh, John. God. Okay. Well, what do you, would you, you consider it? Going there on business? Work? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get up at six, hit the blackjack tables. Oh, what is my background? Got a clock in. Yeah, I gotta punch that clock. Yeah. John. Yes, sir. Do, do you wanna? I'll give you an opportunity right now to backtrack, even though I hate backtrackers. But uh, hey, you can take a few steps back, and then reestablish your position here. Would you like that opportunity? Do you need some time to figure this out? Oh, I give you some time. Okay. Because you know what's happening is you mentioned the girlfriends that are listening, mm. her friends, and he knows that the stories that he, she's going to hear. Well, I wonder if his girlfriend was talked into the notion that John's such a nice guy by John. <laughs> and now she's got to hear what's going on and right. pretty much reevaluate what the situation is. So this is really giving and her some time, too. Although John has the opportunity to realize maybe he, he spoke too soon. This is not the way nice guys behave. Right. And he's, and he's going to change his mind. We'll find out now that his time is up. John! Yes, sir. Oh, John, John. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you, uh, you have taken some time. Uh, no one's going to think little of you if you uh, say, T-Man, you know what? I got ahead of myself. It's not every day I'm on the air. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, I really should be taking my girlfriend because we are that serious. Would you like that? Would you like to make that the case right now or no? We are that serious. I'm a man of my word. She would be staying home. Wow. Boy, oh boy. Ooh. How about this contradiction, Terry? <laughs> we are that serious, but her ass stays home. Wow. wonder how she's feeling right about now. Huh? Number one. How do, you, th how do you think she is feeling right now, John? <laughs> how am I feeling? No, I know how you're feeling. <laughs> feeling like anything. How do you think she's feeling right now? She's okay. She, She's she cool. knows I'm. She knows I'm calling. And, and how, how long have you been going out with this girl, John? Uh, almost two years. Two years. Yes, sir. Are you planning to marry this woman? Uh, I am. Is she planning oh. to marry you? Do you think now? <laughs> she is. Mm-hmm. All right. You know what, John? Hang on the line. We're going to consider you as one of our strong candidates for qualifying this morning, and I'm going to get back to you in a couple of seconds. All right? Okay, sir. I, I just want to see what else is out there, John. Okay, I understand. All right, maybe you'll be here. Maybe you should get used to hearing that phrase, okay, John? <laughs> right. <laughs> Hang on, John. Okay. All right. That's John, Terry. That is John. And believe it or not, he's on line number one. Wow. Mm. And uh, let's go to now line number two, and we'll go all the way through line 73 if we have to, until we find three candidates that make sense, and then we'll pick one. Okay. All right? Gotcha. Okay, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. You're on the air. We're on line three now. They would have oh. been fun. That's yeah, right. they would have been a blast. Yeah. They would have taken their girlfriend. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Yes, hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What can we do for you? Well, I, you know, heard you're looking for some qualifiers, and All I was right. wondering if you wanted to consider me. Well, I'll, I'll certainly consider you. Why don't you tell me about yourself, start with your double Ds, and build from there? Actually, they're triple D's. But... Oh, there's already building from there, Terry. She added a D. <laughs> yes, and now, uh, please, uh, I'm hoping you'll omit the 400 pounds that goes around that. <laughs> All right, why don't you tell me about yourself real quick? Go ahead. Time is short, and so am I. Go. I got breast milk to drink. What? What? Uh... She didn't deny the 400 pounds. Yeah. You know that? Didn't dispute it. What's our? What do you got? Hello. Um, yes. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm 22, and, mm -hmm. um, my name's Nicole. 22 I and 400 pounds, jeez. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, Nicole. Busy eating. Yes. Um, well, hard to work do. at a doctor's office for a living. And yeah. And some billing there, you know. How old? Is the doctor like in his 40s, 50s, 60s? Uh, is it a he, I'm assuming? A she? What? Yeah. It's a he's he. He's in his 50s. There's two. Because um, male doctors male only doctors. hire women, and women doctors only hire women. Well, uh, <laughs> men. <laughs> So is is he is he hitting on you at all? Does he give you looks? Oh yeah, he he does. Oh yeah, he's bad. He makes comments all the time about. Tell me the about the comments. Oh, tell me about the comments he makes. What specifically is it, does he tell you um, that you feel is a little off color, a little off base, a little unprofessional? Yeah. What does he do? Um, I consider him kind of unprofessional just because. He'll say things like, oh, I'd rather watch you work with no top on. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that may be a little unprofessional. Yeah, a tad. <laughs> just slightly. Yeah. It depends on the... Uh the day. Uh, I thought it was going to be like, hey, file this. <laughs> if it's dressed on Friday, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> How long have you been working there? Um, I've been there four years now. For four years so, or one year? Four. Has he ever made a comment to you like, man, I'd love to try my new lipo machine on you, or uh, <laughs> boy, could you... Oh, any, Anything like you, something in that category or no? No. Oh, good. Good start. <clears throat> All we got so far is. Does he have a lipo machine? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe he's just not that kind of doctor. The doctor would love to see <laughs> her topless, Terry. Uh huh. And how do you respond to that when he says that? Um, I just okay. kind of giggle you it away, like, oh, whatever. And then you go, Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> the triples come out to play. You just giggle it off and uh, move on with your day. Is that what you're telling yeah, us? I try to, yeah. And is that good enough for him? He's willing to accept that, that you just giggle and move on with your day and you really don't take him seriously? He's, yeah, I think so. He's I mean, he's your, like a jokester. He's your boss. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I giggle. I don't want to say anything to... When you're giggling... You fire me. When you're giggling, what do your arms do? <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, what does your chin do? Oh, it is. <laughs> when you're giggling, what do your chin and arms do? My, I'm sorry, what? Ah, oh, jeez, I have to this question three times now. When you're giggling, you know, you said you giggle when he when he makes that comment to you. Uh-huh. What do your chin and arms do? Would they would they make Bill Cosby proud? It's a jello no. reference. Yeah. Gotcha. No. Okay. The answer you're, you're looking for is nothing to you, man. They do absolutely nothing. Nothing. Wow. Well, hmm. I don't believe her. Anyhow. <laughs> okay. All right. Hang on the line. You're candidate okay. number two. All right? All right. Thank we, have, you. we have candidate number one, John. We have yes. candidate number two. What is your name again? Nicole. Nicole. We have Nicole. I need to pick a third, and then I'm not going to belabor this, Terry. I'm not okay. going to do this all morning. Gotcha. Then we pick one, we move on with our lives. Gotcha. I should have been reading emails. could have been that much quicker. But Pacey, they threw away my emails. <laughs> Today, I'll throw away the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no one's getting laid if I can't get laid. <laughs> you're on the air. Line four is a is a dial tone now, Terry. And line five, you're on the air. No one's getting laid. Oh, <laughs> I agree. Hello? Hello? What's up? How's it going? All right. Good. What do you got, baby? Um, I want to go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. She's digging a lot better than line three, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> a what? Uh, never mind. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, so what do I have to do? Uh-oh. Easy. <laughs> Very interesting question. <laughs> uh, what are your specialties? Um, well, I specialize in a lot of things. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm 23. Just turned 23, actually. And um, I thought you were going to tell us what you specialize in. Oh yeah. Um, I <laughs> counting my age. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. I specialize in having a good time and throwing it down, you know. What are you wearing? What? Where are you headed? Where am I headed right now? Yeah. Um, I'm headed to my house. What are you wearing? What am I what? Why are you headed to your house now? What is their... Who heads their house at this time <laughs> of morning? Yeah. Oh, time to go home oh. at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I was... what'd, you, what'd you do last night that you're headed back to the house? Well, I was... At my boyfriend's house. Uh, really? Oh. How serious are you with him? What's that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cell phones are killing, killing me, Terry. I know. What I, What did you do last night that you're headed home now? Is that my question? I can't remember. No, how serious no, are how you with serious? the boyfriend? How serious? I, I thought that was my question. question. What are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> how, how serious are you with this dude? I, I can't understand you guys. Oh. Um, 
I'm going I'm going back to my boyfriend's house. But I guarantee you, T Man, he would not be coming with me if I qualify for Vegas. How serious are you <laughs> with your boyfriend? How serious? Um, yes. Well, we're pretty serious, but T Matt, I will never I would never bring my boyfriend to Vegas. I understand, you already said that. How good would you uh, how good did you give it to him last night? <laughs> pretty good. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was he screaming in ecstasy? Of course. Every time, <laughs> C-Man. Was he screaming louder than you were? Um, probably not. You were screaming louder? Oh, yeah. And she mm -hmm. faked extra good last night. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been seeing this dude? Um, for about, well, on and off for like four years. And you live alone? Yeah. Well, I live with my roommate, my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Is that oh, who you bring? Oh. Yeah, that's who I totally bring. Kind of like this going to girlfriend. Some guy stringing her along for four years. Wow. She's not, she hasn't figured that out. It's a good quality. I know, it makes I her know. leave at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> she leaves Get out of the house. Hurry. 7 a.m. looking I like. I gotta go to work. All yeah, right. So yeah, of do. course. And leave the yogurt in the fridge. Don't take any of it. <laughs> what do you, where do you, uh, where do you go to work? And when, what do you do? Um, I'm in real estate. Mm. What woman isn't these yeah, days? Yeah. Convenient. She right. tells her parents, yeah. get off her back for not going to school. How old are you? She said I'm she was 23. 23. I just, oh, yeah, yeah, you said that about six times. Yeah. What do you look like? Um, I'm like 5'2", 110 pounds, blonde hair, banging. A banging? She's wow. a banging. Yes. How do you spell that? I'm writing this all down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, well, you're our third qualifier. I don't think there's any <laughs> any problem with that. Do you see one, Terry? I uh, know. We now have Nicole. Mm -hmm. We have John. And what is your name, love? Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Oh. Makes that mad dash out of a driveway, headed home at 6 in the morning, still driving. She drives an hour and a half every day to get laid, Terry. <laughs> wow. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh, boy. It's worth it for you, huh? Oh, it sure is. Okay. Sitting through traffic to go home and then again to go to work. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Now, Pasty, I'm going to let you choose this morning. Ooh, Please come uh, to wow. the microphone here. Wow, Pasty. Come on out. Big day for Pasty. Woo out. I want to hear who he chooses. Uh, you have uh, wow. Andrea, you have Nicole, and you have John. Andrea, would you like to make a statement to Pasty to tell him why you need to be selected as a qualifier? Me? Yes, you. Um, well, because, yeah, I'll make a statement. <laughs> Um, <laughs> See, the blonde hair, that's the winner. The blonde that was hair a, is that working was a good really statement. well, yeah. isn't it? She's perfect. Yes, uh -huh. Andrea. Go ahead. Okay, here's my statement. Right. I'm young, I'm hot, I'm not going to bring my boyfriend, I'm going to have a good time, I know how to throw down, and that's all. That's all. I mean, why are you going to pick some... This girl who's like talking about she has triple D's, you know, <laughs> she's, you know she's got a little bit extra, too, man. <laughs> Mm. All right, it's a great statement, Andrea. Don't you agree there, Pasty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear John's statement, Pasty? <laughs> uh, John. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, do you have a statement for Pasty as to why you over Andrea and Nicole should be our qualifier this morning? Even yeah, though, they do. Yeah, don't waste your breath. You don't have a chance. I mean, uh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead there, John. Well, I would like I would like to think that I have a chance. I mean, a lot of these of a lot of these little hoochie girls are going to come out here. They're going to suck down a bunch of money, and they're just going to be whiny, and they're just going to be, oh, buy me a drink, hot shot, and you know where? Buy me a drink, tasty day, man. I'm going to come on there, and I'm going to attract the ladies. Okay, when you get to Vegas. That's the whole part of the program. You got to be able to attract the ladies as well as entertain. All right, thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea or Nicole? He was trying. Yeah, yeah, All right. Was. Are you there, Nicole? Yeah. Would you like to make a statement to pay? Would you like to hear a Nicole statement, Pasty? Yeah. yeah. All right. Nicole, why don't you make a statement as to why you need to qualify this morning? Go ahead. Okay. Well, just to rebuttal with Andrea, um, I know she's a little bit jealous because her double A's aren't matching up to my triple D's, okay. but. Besides that, I would be a lot of fun in Vegas on that plane. Um, I think that I would be a lot better than Andrea because you don't want no thick ass broad flying out the window, freaking messing up everything. So, you know, okay. I'm the winner. Makes perfect sense to everyone. Why don't why we now? She, why is she flying out the window again? I don't know. I don't know. Do you want to know? You, you, you could have had it one, Nicole. Yeah. A pasty. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> wow, he can speak. You heard all three statements, did you not? I did. Oh. 
Uh, did they all seem to resonate uh, in a big fashion, or did one stand out more than the others? <laughs> There's definitely one that stood out. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> and Pasty, may I ask you who you think deserves to be qualified this morning? Is it John? Is it Nicole? Or is it Andrea? <laughs> Um, the person that I would think would be a good person for Vegas yeah. <laughs> is Andrea. Oh, wow. Andrea! Oh, Woo he describes himself as a pasty virgin. Well, he leaves the pasty part out. Yeah, uh, he does. <laughs> he will tell us about how he's waiting for the right woman to waltz into his life. And uh, in some spiritual sense, I won't call it a religious sense, but uh -huh. in some spiritual sense, this is part of who he is and what he's all about. And yet... Andrea said something that got him all stirred up that Whoa. left no option for him but to choose her as our qualifier this morning. What's contradictory about this picture, Terry? <laughs> what doesn't add up about Pasty's life? <laughs> what doesn't add up? All of it. Explain it to me, Pasty. <laughs> Well, what would you have said if I picked the guy? Then it would have been, oh, there's Pasty picking the guy, you know. <laughs> you guys totally so would have had fun really with So if you really wanted the guy, though, you should have picked the really guy. Want the guy. But, I wanted Andrea. But what <laughs> Nicole was middle of the road. She was kind of, uh, well, she was a girl, and she was kind of a, a neutralist girl. She wasn't going out of her way to, to turn on the... Get you all boiling in your balls and all that stuff. She wasn't. Oh. She wasn't doing that. Boiling your balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Andrea just uh, was a little more special. <laughs> yeah. little Pushed more it over special. the edge. Can you repeat that again, please, <laughs> baby? <laughs> well, I that have to sense. tell. I have to tell Andrea that uh, she has wow. qualified this morning. Congratulations, Good Andrea. Good job, Andrea. Good job, Thank Andrea. You. Well done. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh huh. Um, Sounds like you're in the dry. You're, all, you're back at your own apartment now. I am. I'm yes. sitting here in the parking lot. <laughs> Put the tank top on and go back in the house. Yeah. Oh, totally. Do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Hang on. We're going to put Pasty on the phone with you, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, good luck. Yeah, listen carefully. He's Sometimes gonna, it's hard to understand. He's going to take down your information. All right, Andrea? All right. Thank you, Keenan. All right. Andrea, she's qualified. And that means John. Uh, I'm sure John's going to be very angry. Why shouldn't he be? He got pretty much discriminated against for yes, being a guy. Yes, he did. By Pasty, who's a virgin. Who's, uh, these things you would think wouldn't matter to him. I know. John, unfortunately, you're not qualified. Not, well, I, not I, yet, I at put, least. I should have put this in my case. Pasty knows my voice. I've called in before and tried to get on the Stump the Poo with my Pulp Fiction question. And Pasty's been on my side with this Pulp Fiction question. And he dogged me on this trip to Vegas. He knows who I am. <laughs> well, Pasty has a very interesting reaction, as always. Uh, Are we just going to throw a triple D to the side here, to the scrap heap? A hot shot all of a sudden. Yeah, I know, out of nowhere. Roaring out with his opinion oh, I've been here the whole time, but Pasty was in my chair. I see. Uh, triple Ds, unfortunately, yeah. yes. Uh, it seems like you've been overlooked by Pasty, because the things you said outside of having triple Ds weren't enough to... To get him going, I guess. So you're I'm you're so you're not qualified, at least not yet. You still have time, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you. right. Bye. All right. But it, it seems like Hotshot wants your email address or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Email me through the website. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Boy, back well, to getting was... her butt slapped by the doctor. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's right. She didn't even talk about the doctor making comments at her oh. man. Yeah. Wanted her to do the job topless. Oh, jeez. Thanks for the refresher question. Wow. <laughs> what do we do without you? <laughs> the T Man. The Q93 T Man Party Plane of Vegas is filling up fast. You're the winner, Emily! Keyboard <laughs> <laughs> Air Cube, listen at 7248. Oh my god! Be the 93rd caller and beat the house at Blackjack. Well, look at that. You just beat the house. Yes. Oh, that is so exciting! <laughs> the T Man Party Plane to Vegas. From Singular, T.I. Las Vegas, Southwest Airlines, and Cube 93. Time flies. In Michael Jackson's trial today, a boost for his defense. His huh? accuser acknowledged telling conflicting stories. Mm. Jackson's arrival today was much less dramatic than Thursday when he showed up late and in PJ bottoms. Yeah, at least uh, yesterday he had the decency to show up in a robe and slippers, Terry. Good. <laughs> uh, so... It's not a big deal, but, uh, yeah, a few days ago, he just showed up in his pajamas, Terry. 
Mm. And it's not even something that will phase anyone out there. I mean, when you're dealing with Michael Jackson, the behavior has been so extraordinary over the years that when you hear that news, it doesn't even make you flinch. Right. Right. He showed up in his pajamas. Oh, it's Michael. Yep. Hey. Right. <laughs> At least he was comfortable. Yeah. Well, why don't you go to traffic court in your pajamas and see what happens? <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I saw him on the news the other day showing up dressed like Captain Kangaroo, so this is a, a nice twist. Right. <laughs> Jackson's arrival today was much less dramatic than Thursday when he showed up late and in peace. J bottoms. Mm -hmm. During cross examination, they were the feety pajamas though, Terry. So it's okay. Yeah, his feet were protected. <laughs> During cross examination, the accuser admitted no. he told a school dean that nothing sexual had ever happened with Jackson. Child so psychologists say it's typical of a victim to tell conflicting stories. Well, maybe typical, but it's also planning reasonable doubt in that jury. <laughs> and if this jury comes back with any kind of guilty verdict now, well, I just don't see how they can. And if the pajamas doesn't put him over the top, I don't know what else will. <laughs> yeah, he's very normal. Child psychologists say it's typical of a victim to tell conflicting stories. The question is this. Are these the natural inconsistencies of a child witness yeah. or part of a conspiracy of lies to frame Michael Jackson? Right. The accuser, who's now 15, will be on the stand again tomorrow, his fourth day of testimony. Wow. Well, this just in. Now the accuser's 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the trial will continue to go on for, they say, at least a... Another month or two or more, Terry. Yeah. And yet you'd think it's reached its climax with the with the victim on the stand. And yet they're predicting it still has another two months minimum. Wow. I don't figure I don't see how they figure that. Well, Get to a verdict, please. Gotta talk to Michael, don't you? Michael's gonna be on the stand? I don't know. Wouldn't that be kinda interesting? I didn't do it. <laughs> 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 Well, that would certainly be. I mean, he's got to, you know, rebut everything that the oh, yes. uh, victim what, no, has there. to say. That's rebut. How, that's how he got in trouble in the first place. Well. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, fine. Then Michael will, uh, will take the stand. I think the case is starting to take shape in such a way that Michael will not have to take the stand, Terry, mm. even though it would be... Uh, certainly depriving us of major entertainment. Mm hmm <laughs> Michael on the stand? I Are know. you kidding me? Does it get any better than that? They should do it just for us. It doesn't get any better than that. When he starts doing the moonwalk. The world is not capable of providing any better entertainment than Michael Jackson on that stand. Now, I say that with uh, my feeling of wanting him to be found innocent. Mm -hmm. Okay? But still, him being on the stand would be the most entertaining situation you could ever put together on this planet that we call Earth. Yeah. You, you can't find any better entertainment. They'd be selling tickets just as it, just for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised his lawyers want him to go on the stand. I don't think they will. I think, as I'm telling you, with all this... It's not going to have to. Yeah. With all this uh, incriminating evidence that the 15-year-old is putting on himself by admitting that he told a guidance counselor or someone in his school that Michael didn't do a thing to him... Michael may be able to sit in that chair and not have to take the witness a stand. <sighs> a details to follow. Now, what else is going on, Terry? What else is happening in our world? How about this? A 47-year-old man dressed up as his dead mother to collect her pension checks for two years. <laughs> for two years he was fooling everybody? Yes, actually, he did. <laughs> he started dressing as her, complete with a headscarf, stockings, and a walking stick. Yeah, I'm Josephine Smith. I'm here to get my check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For two Pretty, years, for he two was years. fooling everyone in that office building well, or whatever place well, he had bank. to go to. He had to, to go, go to the bank, bank and yes. collect her, uh, her I mean, after checks. a year and a half, you start getting careless. You stop <laughs> shaving. <laughs> you show up with a full beard. <laughs> no, really, I'm her. <laughs> ah, of course. Yes, Mrs. Smith. You're not looking great today, but here's your check. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and overall, in two years, he collected $6,300. Now, um, after getting caught... It's quite the pension. Yeah, yeah $6, I know. $6,300. He's facing charges of fraud, <laughs> suspicious death, and conducting a burial without notifying authorities. Because oh, mm -hmm. he stashed his mom's body after she died yes. in the basement and then didn't... Norman return. Bates would be proud to her. <laughs> I don't you know. The T-Man. An honorary member of the Wu Tang Clan. Powers to the people. Hey, what's up? It's Eric Powers to the people. You want to win Sonic's tickets for Friday Night Live's game against Orlando Magic? When you hear Lloyd Banks' karma. In the traffic jam, be the 93rd caller today and you win Sonic's tickets. Powers to the people. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Weekdays from 3 to 7. Cube 93. Gotta avoid that stuff. 
If you're going to get a tattoo, you always ask about the clean needles, but what about the ink? It does not regulate manufactured ink. Oh, geez. And no color additive has been approved for injection into the skin. Mm -hmm. In some cases, the metals can lead to burns or allergic reactions. I think about all those trans fats today. And, uh... <laughs> With all that said, with all those harmful side effects that the tattoo may bring you, mm -hmm. it's still worth it for the uh, woman out there to get it on her, her lower back with you because you'll get 90% more attention in the clubs. Wow. wow. That is just the way it is today, Terry. I don't know <laughs> when men got together and had that discussion, when the memo went out. Never got it. I don't know <laughs> when men decided that we all agree that we love the lower back tattoo wow. on the women's, Terry. Okay. But we do. Wish I was consulted, but like it anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one was consulted, and yet we all have agreed. Yeah. I, and you know why that is, Stephen? Tell everyone why that is. Even you, even Stephen is as conservative and as uh, straight arrow a guy as he claims to be, mm -hmm. even though he's really a freak in hiding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you explain to everyone why all men across the board... Wow, have there's none that... Terry, there's none. Not even one? There's what? not even one guy who dislikes the woman with the lower back tattoo. Mm. Now, tell everyone, Stephen, because it mm. certainly is a very simple bit of reasoning as to why all men have decided we love the lower back tattoo. What is it out there that has made it easy for us to just embrace totally, to love, to cherish, to honor and obey, till death do us part, the lower back <laughs> tattoo? What is it about it? It's very simple. I'm sure you can figure it out. Well, I'm, I'm racking my brain. I, I don't know if I can figure it out. Uh -huh. uh, take, you want to take a stab? Rack, rack, is it because uh, there's that little area that uh, of skin around, oh, you know? Geez. Huh? What? what? You know, Isn't your the, whole the, the body covered with skin? Well, no, but I mean, guy, like me, Stephen I wouldn't here, wear a shirt where that A woman's exposed. clitoris is not on her lower back. <laughs> what? In case you weren't familiar with the female anatomy, but uh, what are you talking about? Well, I guess I'm Maybe I asked the wrong guy. Anyone, does anyone want to chime in and tell me? I, they, I don't know. Just because they like the smoothness of that back area? I don't know. No! Okay. Smoothness of the back area? Well, what are you talking you know. about? Some like how it curves right into the derriere. Fine. No one is going to have a problem. Well, it depends on the woman, of course, but uh, okay. that's not the reason why all men have decided we love the lower back tattoo. Come on, this is basics. It's staring you right in the face. Oh, that's why, because oh. it stares me in the face. On the <laughs> that's oh. part of it. Okay. <laughs> but what in particular out there in our world that's Hello. very prevalent these days has made it an easy transition to all guys loving the lower back tattoo. Come on, figure it out. Low rise jeans. Figure it out. Yeah. yeah that's where I got mine. Jeans. Matches my thong. No, low rise <laughs> jeans may you're talking about the chicken and egg and the egg now. The low rise jeans may have come into play because, because of all the back. lower oh, back tattoos. Wow. Okay. Got it. So you're not even getting warmer. Oh, wow, getting colder. I'm trying though. It's not getting colder necessarily, but uh you still have not given me the answer. Why? Is the lower back tattoo so loved by men? Hmm. Do I have to go to the phones on this? I guess so. Looks like you do. No one can give me the answer? <laughs> I tried. As did I. You're on the air. Hot shot just grunted. <laughs> it's basics. <laughs> and I'm surprised you're all not chiming in with the answer. Go ahead. Anyone there? That's me. Yes. What do you got? How's it going, T-Man? How are you, sir? Tell everyone I'm the good. reason why all men love the lower back tattoo. What is it out there that made Let's it so easy for us to look? Let's say that there's just this famous myth that when you hit him from behind, you get to look at something. No! Oh! That's kind of what I said, but I... You don't need to look at something when you're hitting it from behind. What do you... You need entertainment <laughs> on top of... No! And Unlike the tattoo moves or something. The dude's that. doing some woman from behind. He's like, I'm bored. I wish there was something I could look at. <laughs> yeah, in most guys' cases, you want to keep your eyes closed, I bet. <laughs> yeah! You don't want to look at it at all. That's why we do it from behind. So we don't have to look at too much. That's nice. <laughs> no! That's not the reason. It has nothing to do with doggy-style situations. Nothing at all. It's not anything sexual. I wouldn't say that. It's not anything sexual per se. As far as this reason okay. that I thought is elementary, Terry. I thought we're talking about basics here as to why <laughs> all men love the lower back tattoo. What got it going? What started the momentum that made all men in the general population so ready for it? 
So ready so ready, for yeah, it? So ready for it to hit the mass population. Now, oh. Terry, it's out there in mass population oh, yeah. now. Okay. Something started it that eased this transition from being an uh, obscure thing to now an everyday thing. What is that thing? What is that thing? You're on the air. <clears throat> I'm going to have all these dudes going up with all these uh, <laughs> Great nasty sex yeah. positions. Sick, now. disgusting answers. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You're on the air. Team man, team man. Yes, sir. Uh, I kind of agree with the dude that just called, but I wouldn't say so much, you know, something to look at because, like you said, when you're in dark, you know, when you're doing that, you know, you're not trying to look at something. So what are you saying? We're going to all of a sudden make this, this next move to having flat screens on women's lower backs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can, we can watch a movie when we're... <laughs> <laughs> Scrolling them from behind. Come on, I'm not that bored. No. <laughs> not if that you're trying to, if you're trying to establish that men are so bored that we need something to look at, wow. well, then that means flat screens are not that far away. <laughs> a little implant that you can put right there. For right. If we're, if we're putting it on the back of car seats now, <laughs> right. it only stands to reason that we can implant one on your on your girlfriend or wife's lower back. There you go. I got to change the movie. This is going to take too long. <laughs> I can't believe I got through a, a whole three hours of Titanic. What else can I watch? <laughs> no! You're thinking too hard, ladies and gentlemen! I'm just asking a very simple question. It requires a very simple answer. I just asked merely, what has eased the transition? There didn't seem to be any kind of outcry. Nobody seemed to be phased. Mm -hmm. When all of a sudden, one day, you woke up and every woman had a lower back tattoo and every man was loving it, Terry. Okay. Why is that? What got it going? Hmm. Do you want the answer? Sure. Or should I go tomorrow? Well, it's, I want to see if somebody lame gets male yeah. call. Yeah. See if everybody's as stupid as we are. Calls. Well, now it's going to seem anticlimactic when I tell you. Oh. You're expecting some dazzling answer. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. You're on the air. Hello. To <laughs> Hello? Hey. Yes? Hey, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why all the guys love a girl with a lower back tattoo. Tell me the answer, sir. That's what I'm waiting on. <laughs> it's because every guy knows. Every guy should know. Any girl with a lower back tattoo would let you take the dirt road home. Oh, oh jeez, <laughs> you got. Well, we just asked you for that now. Yes, okay. wow. yes, you, you wanted. Are, hey, you yeah. can't. Answer. You can't blame that guy for his answer because we were asking for it. <laughs> We've made this into too big a production now. It was a very simple answer. I could have given it to you a half hour ago now. Oh, you and said now we're talking about the dirt road home. Uh, you, John you, Denver never sang about that, did he? <laughs> Country you roads said take it was me home. One, one thing that eased in, you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't think that. Well, now you know what John Denver really <laughs> meant. Okay. <laughs> to the place where I belong. Well, that's right. A mountain, a mama. I'll wow. take me home. In West Virginia, they're familiar with it. Mm hmm. Wow. You're on the air. Oh, you still want me to continue on with these phone calls? I, I knew this was going to happen to you. Oh, Hello? <laughs> Anyone there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, dude. What's the answer? Yeah, it's... Uh... Any day now, sir. <laughs> I think he's thinking about it's that me. dirt road he can't concentrate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, you get back to us, sir, when you collect yourself. <laughs> You mean I can go up there <laughs> and not be a homo? <laughs> well, get my wife here. Oh. All right, you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Yeah, you hear me? Yes, please. What's your answer? Yeah. I was saying the strippers got them. Strippers. You're getting really warm, sir. Oh, oh wow. Really strippers? warm. Yeah, it's really warm with that answer. Strippers really? got him, yes. Okay. One notch up from strippers or a couple of notches up and you're there. Prostitutes. What? Prostitutes. No. One notch <laughs> one notch below prostitutes. So between strippers and hookers. Yes. <laughs> Total freaks. No. Oh. No, I can't believe you can't get it. <laughs> he was so close, right? He was two notches below with uh, with strippers. Uh -huh. He's two notches above with prostitutes. What falls in between? Come nurses. On. Come on. Um, nurses. Oh, and oh porn stars. <laughs> porn stars. Oh, yes. porn. Porn stars is your answer. A lot of porn stars. I mean, every single porn star has a back tattoo. Every single one, Terry. It's that. It's like carrying the porn star club card. Really? Mm -hmm. So the dirt road could <laughs> be oh, true, true then. 
everything you said can be true in relation to it, but it wasn't oh. the answer you were ah, looking for. Because the porn stars are porn stars started. got it going. Ah, revved up the engine. Men love their <laughs> porn, whether they want to acknowledge it or not. Porn is a billion billion dollar yeah. industry, and when mainstream women started putting those lower back tattoos on, men were ready for it. <laughs> they said, "Oh, I've got my own porn they star." They said, "Country road, <laughs> <death me home." laughs> yeah." yeah. And then the video cameras came out too, and <laughs> I'm still waiting for the spiderweb tattoo on the bladder area. That's 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 my all-time favorite. And what am I being told? Is this true? Apparently, Terry, I, I asked yesterday on the air if any of the UW Huskies, you know, these men that are taking over the state, the men that are taking over the world right now. I think so. Yeah. I, I asked if if some team member would call in. I I said on the air that I was willing to suspend my normal no guest policy, policy, my no celebrity policy. Right. I asked for. For somebody on the team to call me up and let's talk about what's going on. I'm so excited. I'm so worked up over right. the UW Huskies. I'm so ready to dance. Yes. Well, apparently they've outdone me. Really? Apparently they've outdone my request. Because from what I understand, there's a collection. I don't know if it's a small or medium-sized collection, but there's a collection <laughs> of UW basketball players outside ready to come wow, in the studio really? and hang out. Yes, I have not... Uh, made any real request? We didn't call the the athletic office or anything. That would have gotten us nowhere. They're doing <laughs> it. They're, they're doing it because of their team and loyalty, Terry. Oh, how they, nice. they must have heard that I was out looking for them. They must have heard that I'm uh, a bandwagon jumper and that I even go further. That I'm driving the bandwagon, and they they've responded in kind to my request. They realized I've suspended my no celebrity policy, and I and I wanted to talk to them. And they're starting to assemble outside from wow. what I'm being told. Wow, wow. Very that's great. Nice. That's cool. And if they didn't bring a Hans Gosser jersey, they're not getting in. Oh, geez. <laughs> So with the dance ready to begin two days away, and the Huskies are number one seed, let me find out who's outside. It's the Lady Huskies. Oh, just let me find <laughs> out. Let me find out who's outside, and we will bring in your top-seeded UW Huskies <laughs> in a couple of seconds. All right? Oh, all right. The T-Man. Be the Cougars! Oh, yeah, it's so much bigger than beating the Cougars now, man. We, yeah, yeah. The Huskies thought that was a big deal, I guess, at some point in their history. Right. Now it's about being a number one seed. Yep. Terry, I got the scoop on what's going on outside. Okay. Uh, apparently yesterday, a collection of the Huskies got together and decided, hey, T-Man is with us. Let's go down tomorrow morning and surprise him on the air. Aww. Well, it hasn't worked out perfectly because... Uh, well, who we have here so far is Bobby Jones. He's waiting outside. Trey Simmons is parking his car. Oh, wow. They're going to have the whole starting team, it looks like. Wow, that's great. Will Conroy and Brandon Roy were coming from the east side. They looked at the traffic and then pretty much decided they weren't going to do it. Said <laughs> never. But they're, gonna, they're on the phone, so they can, they can talk uh, on the phone lines. Oh, very cool. Nate Robinson wanted to be here, but he's got a final right now, and he's listening on his headphones from what I'm being told. Well, good. While he's getting an A on his final. There you go. <laughs> Mike Jensen also has a final as we speak right now. He'll be done in about a half hour, and he wants to know if he can come down at 930. Oh, hey. Why don't, don't they know they don't have to go to class anymore? Those days are over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're, oh, a, you're a big-time program now. <laughs> Number one seed. It's yeah. done. <laughs> right. No more school. So if they keep trickling in throughout the day, they are leaving tonight from what Bobby Jones told me outside, Terry. Really? They're leaving tonight for Boise, so they get settled in, so they're ready to attack the country. One by one, attack. they will fall. Yeah, the Grizzlies first. All other 63 teams will go by the wayside. And the plan is... For not only for them to prove that they are a worthy number one seed, Terry, but to win the whole damn thing. That'd be not, cool. Not many brackets that are being filled out in this country right now include the Washington Huskies in the Final Four. Still, the lack of respect seems to be out there, Terry. Mm -hmm. But when a few weeks are counted down, Terry, that shouldn't be the case anymore. Mm. That's my belief. I have them in my Final Four, Terry. I have the Huskies in my Final Four, Terry. Oh. I'm losing to Illinois. But that's a, hey, <laughs> in the final four, Terry. And maybe they'll surprise us all and win the whole damn thing. Who knows? Yeah. Well, losing to Illinois is not. Losing to Illinois is no shame. Right. That team has only lost one game all season. And that was a fluke. And uh, now that the fact that uh, their head coach's mom died, they'll probably rally around that and win the whole thing. It yeah. becomes a great story, and you never yes. can beat a great story. But 
You never know. Simmons to come up. We're going to have uh, apparently Brandon Roy and Will Conroy on the phone. We're going to have uh, Nate Simmons listening, uh, Nate Robinson listening while he's taking his final on his headsets. We have Mike Jensen trying to finish all the bubbles on his test so he can get down here quick. <laughs> probably don't know the answers. We can give them to Nate right now. He a just, he just <laughs> said on the phone he wants to be here. He'll be here by 930. The whole team is basically here, Terry. Yeah. I asked for one guy to call in. And look what you got. And they're all coming down. That's neat. It's unbelievable. Mm. We're play six over glass. It's oh. March Madness at its finest. So oh, while yeah. we're putting everything together, Terry, why don't you give me a couple of quick stories? What do you have How there? about this? A new study reveals that women... And be aware, ladies and gentlemen, you know when people come down here, you know whenever I have a guest, the last time was 1997, whenever I have a guest, Terry, we open the phone lines and let you talk to them if, you, if that's something you would like to do, if you want to ask questions. So that is something that the listeners should be prepared for Very as good. we uh-huh. get ready. <laughs> to cheer on the hometown heroes <laughs> in the Vikings! Okay, what do you have? That's what Bobby Jones is. He never called me back <laughs> after a week. Yeah, well, <laughs> he needs that in his life. Yeah, though. this is the time where all you <laughs> ladies out there that have been trying to get them to answer your phone calls. Right. Yeah. He made me walk home. <laughs> can now have them cornered here in the studio or on the phone line. Can't so. screen now. That's right. <laughs> what else? Is- A new study reveals that women dream about clothes and looks, and men, they dream about cars and random women. Oh, jeez. And women dream about clothes and their own looks, mm-hmm. or other ladies' looks or men's looks. Which looks? Um, about their their own personal appearance. Their own personal mm-hmm. appearance. That's what they dream about. Mm-hmm. Yes. They have these nightmares about being <laughs> caught. Nightmares. Well, it has to be, Terry. <laughs> about being yes. caught out there with no makeup. <laughs> they have, uh, sc- I imagine they would be scary type dreams. If you're dreaming about your own looks, Terry, are you dreaming how you sitting there with a smile on your face as you're in stage Some five may. sleep in your bed? Some may. Some may be recalling in their I don't know. I could think of just a million nightmares. I can't think of one pleasant dream a woman could have when dreaming oh, about her looks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> But they also say that women are, are much more emotional dreamers. All than of a sudden, men. you wake up in a cold sweat. I had on mom jeans. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Terry oh, still suits those, I Oh, my think. gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mom jeans. <laughs> you know the mom jeans. I've seen them. A bit higher these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit higher than the sevens. <laughs> <laughs> you got the old front butt sticking out. We know. Oh, my God. I only had on three and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, very interesting. What else? What else is going on there, Terry? Also, what else do you got have? got a story here out of Denmark where uh, male ducks are uh, molesting female ducks at a public park there in front of, like, little kids Whatever you want to call them. Whatever you want to call the people in the park, Terry. That's fine. No, no, no really. <laughs> they, they, park officials are having a big issue with this because you have these children and these grandmothers and mothers, fathers feeding these ducks, you know. And, and, and the then, male ducks are mounting the female yes, ducks. Yes, I mean, not just one one male duck on top of one female duck. We're talking, like, six or seven male ducks attacking, attacking one, female. one female. So it's like kind of a gang molesting. It's going to be an interesting thing. trial then, I guess, huh? I, I guess so. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes it's fatal for the female duck. Did any of these gloves have on a sequin glove, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> and utter the phrase, hoo-hoo, <laughs> Is that in the story anywhere no, there, Terry? No, no. No. Well, uh, I guess then they're going to have to take care of this very foul problem. Ah! <laughs> uh, that deserves a cowbell. Hold on. Yeah, thank you, Stephen. Wow. <laughs> Steven's cowbell is broke. <laughs> Put this dick in. I don't know. Wow. Oh, wow. How does that feel? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good when where the is, mallet goes back and Where is this happening, Terry? I told you, in Denmark. In, in Denmark. Park now, there is there any Denmark. reason that they can put their finger on as to why these male ducks in mass numbers are mounting a innocent female duck just trying to swim from A to B? Well, they, they're saying that it's because uh, male ducks outnumber the female ducks. Fine. Five, five to one. But. but even if they're outnumbered, do you see in our waters these male ducks just taking the the anything that they're after from these female ducks without whining and dining them beforehand, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> you should at least buy them a slug. A slug. It's not happening. Is that typical duck behavior is my question. <laughs> All I, over the world. Or what's happening in Denmark that these male ducks are so aggressive. I don't know. That they're pressing these female du- uh, ducks up against walls and in an alley somewhere they're taking, <laughs> they're violating them. What's going on? Sometimes killing them, by the way. And killing them. Wow. Yes. At least they finished it. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> they're, they're shaking their tail feathers. You know? Oh, jeez. 
They're in the red light district. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's just nasty. I, I'm sorry I brought this story up now. Jeez. I felt bad for the little dogs. Well, we all do, Terry. We all do. Man. The that's the typical story. The female duck's going to be uh, unwilling to take the witness stand and and deal with all the questions from the prosecution and the and the defense attorneys, Terry. It's just not worth it. It's too embarrassing. But yep. there'll be a civil trial. <laughs> a settlement. Oh, she'll make millions in the civil trial. <laughs> Uh, oh. We said males outnumber them five to one, so if they keep doing this, there'll be no more ducks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Don't mention the ducks when we're talking My about knows. huskies. When we get back, you're number one seeded. The UW Huskies. In their final interviews before they head to Boise, Idaho, Terry. Wow. To embark on what will be the greatest time of their lives. The selection committee showed them the respect that they deserve, Terry. The rest of the country will learn, won't they? The rest, the rest of the country will learn to respect the Huskies over the course of the next couple of weeks. We're going to meet some of them when we return. <laughs> member of the Wu-Tang Clan. Let me start by saying this. I have a no guest policy on this show. That is true. I have a no celebrity policy on this show. I don't allow people that have called requesting to be on the show like uh, last year it was Tom Cruise we get requests every every week from Boring. Uh, yeah <laughs> Adam yeah, Sandler your great people like that I don't want to talk to them about their stupid movies right. I don't right. give a crap I'm not into sucking ass like that but no. I will I will acknowledge that these guys who are in the studio right now are in fact celebrities and I am suspending my no guest policy Wow for this morning and only this morning because I have become such the huge U-Dub bandwagon jumper. Oh, I'll admit it. That's yeah. it. You're not having Tom Arnold on today? All right. <laughs> I'm not just on the bandwagon. I'm driving the freaking yeah. thing, and I acknowledge that because I'm even wearing the stupid bracelet. You have I, been. I got, it, I got it at the Arizona State game. And you said you wouldn't take it off. Because this team represents what I love. Team with heart. A team, yep. all right? Not just one guy try. These guys, a lot of these guys on this team could score 30 points a night if they wanted to. They could. But they choose not to. They choose to play team basketball and win games. They're looking at me like I'm freaking crazy right now. <laughs> I am happy that they got up early in the morning when they didn't have to. They don't have finals. Trey Simmons to my left. Bobby Jones to my right. Mike Jensen snuck out of his final to be on the phone lines right now. <laughs> That's great. Will Codroy and uh, Brandon Roy stuck in traffic somewhere. They're, they're all trying to be a part of the T-Man show. And uh, considering they're a number one selection, they're the number one seed in this tournament. It's our honor, isn't it? Awesome. Yes, it yeah, is. It is. All right. Congratulations, fellas. Now, uh, who wants to take this question first? First, let's uh, bring Mike to the phone line. Your first reaction when you heard you were the number one seed. We're going to take calls from you guys in a couple of seconds. So I want to line up the phone callers, especially you ladies who uh, haven't been able to get them to return your calls. <laughs> the number to call is as follows. So like that, that's not funny, T-Man. That's right. <laughs> 1-866-663-T-MAN is the number to call. During the break, Trey Simmons and Bobby Jones were telling me that they would like to have their own show like Richard Lewis has. Oh, nice. So maybe That's when silly. the when the big dance is done, uh, just Trey Simmons made me uh, guarantee him that he'd be the host and Bobby Jones the co-host. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be. Bobby Jones has to be the Terry Free, and uh, Trey Simmons will be the team man. So that whole team thing you just went on about, right out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about that. It doesn't count unless it's on the basketball field. Okay. I'll teach you how to do the woohoo. Well, Bobby Jones is a junior and Trey Simmons is a senior. <clears throat> And Bobby Jones is going to hopefully come back next year and play for the Huskies again. And Trey Simmons will be going on to the NBA. So Trey Simmons has seniority. You're going to be a first-round draft pick. You know that, right, Trey? I don't know it, but... You, you know. know that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's a done deal. I've talked to some people in the business. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure it happens. Uh, now, tell me what your first reaction was when you heard that you're the number one seed in the tournament. Man, it was... I just hopped out my seat, man, just jumped up. Man. I, I really didn't know if we was going to get it, you know. I thought we was going to be a number two seed, but uh, Will called me earlier that day. He was like, man, we got a possibility that we're going to be number one. So I was like, if they said that, then we're going to get it. 
Bobby, your reaction? Oh, man, I was excited. But after that, I was like, man, we can't lose now since we're number one. We're going to be the one. And there is that added pressure. There is a lot more eyes on you now than there would not that there would have been if you were the number two. A lot of teams in sports, especially college sports, love to fly under the radar. They like to be a four seed. They like to be a three seed. No one's really watching them. They like to catch teams by surprise, mm. and they thrive on that. But you know what? I think this UW team, they've been so neglected all year long. You must be thirsting. Yeah, come watch us. Come watch us kill some other truckers. Come watch us blow these bitches out. Come watch, even if we're losing at halftime, you come watch us explode on them in the second half. We've been waiting all year for people to acknowledge how good we are, and you're going to thrive on being the number one, number one seed. Is that right or wrong? No, nah, you're right. That's right. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Whatever you said, T-Bet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and on top of that... Think about all the respect and all the vagina that comes with being the number one seed. <laughs> you can start collecting in every city now. Most college players can't do this. You can start collecting all these women in every city now. Every, every time you leave the arena, in every game you play, they're going to be waiting for you outside the building. <laughs> this dude's blood, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> First game against Montana. Not too far away. 21-point favorites. They have a chance or no? They have a chance. In what? I'm asking you, in what? In, 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 in the game of checkers you're going to play after the game. They have a chance? They have man, no chance. No, nah, they ain't got no chance with us, man. We're too hungry. You're too hungry. Second round game, most likely, I think, against Pitt. Big East team. A lot of people think Big East. They're physical. They're a lot more uh, combative. They're going to be able to get in there. They're going to muscle you. They're going to push you around. The, the talk some people have on the Pac-10 is you're soft. I disagree with that. A couple of weeks ago, I think it was proven when UCLA went into Notre Dame and kicked their ass by 20-some-odd points. I think the final score was about 10, but they blew them away. The Pac-10 is for real this year. You're going to get past Pittsburgh, yes or no? We're going to get past them. We're physical, too. And uh, <laughs> be worried say you're going to throw up the extra Krauser. Krauser. Y'all know what that is. <laughs> he's holding up his little, his little two arms, crossing his little arms. I guess he's from the Bronx or something. Jensen, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just listening to everyone talk. You have no final this morning, or do you? <laughs> no, I got one. Uh, I got one actually right now. But I, I told the teacher that I was going to be a couple minutes late. Couple minutes late for your final. <laughs> have to do yeah, some media. Mike. <laughs> you can pretty much say anything you want to your teachers these days, can't you? <laughs> uh, no, the te- actually my teacher is actually pretty cool. I've, I've been talking to her all semester, so she understands. There's that vibe. Now, even more than ever, I mean, you can feel it. It's tangible. You feel it on campus. Is that fair to say? I mean, you, you get the sense when you're walking around that you're more of the, more of the, sh- than ever before. Do you, you, you feel that as you're walking or what? Yeah, I definitely feel that. It's, you, you walk on campus and uh, everyone's saying hi and go dogs and they're telling you keep, keep, keep up the good work. It's a good feeling to have. It's not like what we're used to. And you know, that whatever happens in this tournament, you're probably going to remember it. At least one thought of it's going to pop into your mind every week for the rest of your life, so you might as well make it a good memory. Yeah, it's, it's been a great ride, and uh, hopefully we can just continue it. I think that we're hungry enough, so we'll see what happens. You think if I give Bobby Jones and Trey Simmons their own show on the radio, it's going to get any ratings? I think it'll get you great ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what are they going to do? What kind of what kind of music are we going to expect? Some hardcore stuff, or or they like soft rock? <laughs> well, Bobby might like the soft rock. I Bobby won't know. even let oh, on, Bobby man. won't no, even let no, Terry no, have her own microphone right now because she's a kook. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, kooks get laid. They're getting the good music. <laughs> They'll play good music, and when they're talking to callers, will they be interesting or no? Yeah, I think so. I think that uh, Trey might be a little bit quiet, but if hey, he gets boy, out of his hold that down. <laughs> <laughs> Trey will be taking yeah. most of the calls off the air, huh? <laughs> yeah, <he> <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not very quiet off the air. <laughs> All right, so if Trey's quiet, then who on your team would um, would be a good show? Who would have a good show? Will Conway would probably have one of the best shows. Is the Will Conway and Brandon Roy? They're they're uh, two of the most comedic people we got on the team. So Will, the Will Conroy and the Brandon Roy show, you think would get higher ratings than the Trey Simmons and the Bobby Jones show? No, oh, you guys I don't know if I would do that. Wow. No, the Alex Johnson uh, and Hans Gosser show is going to be awesome. might be a little bit funnier. <laughs> funnier, but uh, funny doesn't always equal ratings. We're pretty Yeah, yeah, more. exactly. These are the pretty boys of the team. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ladies are going to like it. The ladies are what drive up the ratings. Yeah, I think that everyone on our team would say that they're the pretty boy on the team. But we all agree that no one would listen to you, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that was a sympathy vow. All right. Now that we got you three here, now that, uh, and I understand that more are on their way, but let's, let's deal with uh, Trey Simmons, with Bobby Jones, and with Mike Jensen. Let's go to the phones. These guys are a number one seed in your big dance. It starts on Thursday. Can't wait. They'll be in Boise. They leave later tonight. If you want to give them a final uh, word of whatever, if you want to say something to them that you were always hoping to say but you couldn't get close enough, now's the time. one 663 t man Let's see how Bobby, Trey, and Mike Jensen hail the calls. You're on the air. Hello. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up? Hey, man, I just want to know. It's been a long time. It's hard to get on a program. And uh, I just want to know if you guys are sharing a moment with me, a really special moment. Touched my heart quite a bit. Did you all just yell out with me? Stay the dickhead! <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? You're on the air. Hello. You don't want to Hello? <laughs> yes, go ahead. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, is, is this team man Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, hey, uh, I just want to congratulate the University of Washington. First of all, I, uh, this is a, to me, it's a miracle. We've been waiting for this for a long time. It's not a miracle. Hold on, man. This ain't no miracle, man. We're making history, man. <laughs> well, that's true. All right, that's they true. want to make sure they clarify history, but no miracle. <laughs> okay, okay, I can go with that. Anyway, uh, I'd just like to uh, point out the fact that the UW deserved this number one ranking, and the reason why is because... Uh, when you beat Arizona five out of six times in the last two years, you're saying something to the NCAA. You're saying a lot, and I want to thank you guys for for, for uh, Seattle, for the University of Washington, and everything, because you guys put us on the map, man. And what's really cool is the towards the beginning of the season, Arizona beats UW, and the fans in Arizona chant overrated in relation to the Huskies. So what do the Huskies do? Last two times they play them, beat their ass. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now what, Trey Simmons? <laughs> Beat their ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a future in radio. You're on the air. Hello. Hi. Yes, you're on with Trey Simmons, Bobby Jones, it's Mike cool. Jensen. Go ahead. Hi, good morning, dogs. Good morning. What's up? What's up? I just want to tell you guys thank you and give you a big shout out. My daughter is a freshman over at the U, and I want to uh, thank you uh, for material. making her her <laughs> first <laughs> year. Don't worry, Mom. She'll, she'll be on her way home in a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They'll let her out of the trunk of the car. So yeah. Don't worry. It's no, all I, good. I really want to thank you for making her first year there very memorable. It's just been wonderful. I've been following you guys all season. And thanks for the hype. It's, it's, you guys rock, and you're going to be doing your thing. I'm looking forward to seeing you win and kick butt on Thursday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank okay. you. Yes. Yes, that's what's going to happen, as we all know. You're on the air. Hello. Yo, fellas, man, I just want y'all to know, just stay away from Paris. You got to say BJ. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting right next to her, so. Yes, and he's already getting the sense of the segginess. <laughs> Jeez, that's nice. Oh, You're on the air. Hello. <laughs> the sense of it, huh? <laughs> Hello? The mom Hello? Jeans, like, yes. Oh, I just wanted to wish the boys good luck and let them know that I'm very proud of them all, and I know they're going to kick butt. Uh-huh. Mm. Hmm. The boys. <laughs> yes. Any of you have ugly girlfriends in high school? Huh? Any of you had uh, ugly girlfriends in high school? Uh, man. Maybe they hadn't come into your own yet. Maybe they didn't. You didn't. You didn't even realize who you were at that point. I mean, I would have loved to have had an ugly girlfriend in high school. I didn't have anyone. But if you had a, a girlfriend in high school that uh, you realize now, man, what was I thinking back? <laughs> anyone want to step up and say that's that's the case, Jensen? You? Uh, I had actually a pretty cute girl in high, sp- high school, but uh, she's got a baby now, so uh, that can't be continued. Anyone <laughs> want to call a girl now that you're all big time, now that you're the number one seed in the in the big dance? Any of you want to call someone that may have not realized what they were doing when they when they didn't treat you the way you needed to be treated back then and you now want to rub their nose in it? I do that every day. I make a call yeah, nah, once man. a day. <laughs> Them are the type of girls I stay away from right there. I call once a day at least one girl that snubbed me in high school. Nah. You don't want to do that? <laughs> no, nah, I ignore them once. Uh, okay. No. Come on, I'm, Jensen. I'm, you know every girl turned you down. Come on. <laughs> you with your bleached hair? Come nah, on. No, I'm okay. I had a good one in high school. I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Huh? Hey, dog. She's bringing up the NCAA championship, baby. <laughs> is that is that factor into your minds? Is that something you even think about at this point? That three weeks from now you could be NCAA championships, or is that too far in the distance to focus on? And what what kind of thoughts on that enter your mind? It's not. Uh, you definitely think about it. I mean, but coaches 
uh, point of view. He wanted to take it one game at a time, but it would be lovely, and you know. If we focus and do our stuff, we will be Yeah, you always get that cliche crap of we have to take it one day at a time, (laughs) good Lord willing, all that other garbage. But you can't help but see the big picture and realize you're the number one seed. It's feasible. Illinois can be taken. Anyone can be taken. You guys are such a team that everyone steps up and uh, helps the other one out. If you guys uh, share the ball like you've done all year long and and have five players in double figures, who's going to beat you? Who's going to beat you? Tell me the team that's going to beat you. I can't think of them. Let's go back to the calls. You're on the air. <laughs> go ahead. You're on. Me? Yes, you. Oh, hi. Um, I had a question. I was wondering if you guys knew if the rumors about Nate Robinson having a baby on the way is true. I think he already has one. Yeah. He has one. What? Everybody it's knows that. Here. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about all the rumors everyone's heard now. Nate Robinson has 16 kids. Is that true? <laughs> uh, that yeah. well, There's also a rumor. I'm glad Trey's here. Mm-mm. This is an interesting Mm-mm. rumor that I heard. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> it's not a, involving uh, girls per se, but the word is that in the Pac-10 tournament, you got circumcised on the court. Is that true? Uh, is there any truth to that? Did you, did, did you get cut in the penis area to the point where you had to be stitched up? Is that nah, true or nah, not true? Nah. Everything's cool. Everything's natural. Everything, you know. natural. Everything's functioning and natural. That's so, true. Everything's flowing out naturally. Uh-huh. <laughs> he needs to quit playing in that nudist league. Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you get cut in the dick when you're playing a game? I know. I get cut. You, you can say that you didn't, error. Didn't so, Bobby, that. that's not true. Come on. Trey, turn your back. Turn your back for a oh, second, Trey. Man. Is there any truth that he got his dick cut in the game? Oh, man. Uh, man, he definitely was, you know, feeling the pain, but... uh. From our training, I don't think so, man. He would have told us. It would definitely be material in the locker room. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. one eight six 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 three t man We got the Huskies here. You're on the air. Hello. 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 What's up? Hey, I just want to uh, talk to these guys and, and uh, let them know the vibe. It's not just around campus, man. It's around the whole Puget Sound. Everybody is behind them. It's across the country. I got friends across the country talking and uh everybody's behind you i also want to say i don't want to congratulate and celebrate yet because the regular season was great but at the same time this is what it's about right here the vibe is not just on the UW campus. You guys may not realize that because you don't leave all that often, but it is all over Western Washington. You guys own the city. You own the town. You own the western side of the state right now. Mm-hmm. The eastern side of the state, who cares? They're going to separate them anyway, right? <laughs> right. They're going to break off and join our own state? Correct. Yeah. There's going to be 53 states. I mean, how does that feel? I mean, if you win the whole big dance, you'll own the state for the rest of your lives. <laughs> if you don't, it's going to be something that uh, you will remember, but it won't be as impactful as it was, not to put any added pressure on you. <laughs> but if you win this whole thing, if you win the whole college basketball tournament, there won't be a store, there won't be a restaurant, there won't be a mall that you can walk in the rest of your life where people don't point to you and say, that's the guy who won us a college basketball tournament, helped us get that crown back in 2005. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like that now. They've <laughs> 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 really been getting that kind of love, so that just makes us, you know, want to keep continue to get that love. So. And then they went on to have a number one rated show on Cube 93. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Bobby and Trey show. The Bobby and Trey show. They put the Will and Ooh. Brandon show out of business. Well, he put Bobby first in that one. I thought it was the Trey and Bobby show. Well, Bobby and Trey has a better ring to it. Bobby and Trey. Right. Bobby and Trey in the morning. Oh, geez. <laughs> that has no good ring to it. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hey, this team is. Yeah. Hey, T, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? Hey, man, all I got to say is I'm proud of the Huskies getting the number one shot and all that, but uh, y'all got a team from the ACC in there, man. Uh, hang them up. Cut them yeah, off. Hang them up. There oh, who's hey the, there. Who, wait, wait, no. Who's the team in the ACC that you're holding your, you're hanging your hat on there? Man, they got Georgia Tech in there. Fine. So what? Georgia Tech is no better than NC State. NC State came in a couple of months ago. <clears throat> and even though they only won by four points, how close was that game, really? Yeah. How close was that game? Even with their All-American player, Merrill Hodge, or whatever his freaking name is. <laughs> <laughs> how close was that game? It wasn't close. There was That game was never in doubt. You guys beat a team from every major conference in this season that we're in right now. And yet, people in this country are wondering why you're a number one seed. Do they know you beat Oklahoma? No. Did they forget that you beat Utah with that big, stiff white guy that they say is going to the NBA, too? Bogus. Andrew Bogus? <laughs> yeah. Did they, did they forget that you beat NC State? 
Did they magically forget that you beat who's the other? Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Arizona twice. Did they forget that you beat Arizona twice? Well, they'll be reminded soon Man. about what the Huskies are all about. <laughs> you did your homework, team. Man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Good. Yo. Hey, man, I just want to say, man, first of all, good luck to y'all. Second of all, no disrespect to the East, but thank you for bringing it back to the West side so we have something to root for, man. Yeah, man, that's what we've been trying to do. The problem is ESPN shows all these college basketball games, and they do a great job covering college basketball. They don't show the Pac-10. No, then Seattle never gets in. And they don't, care that they, don't, and... they don't care that they don't, they don't show the Pac-10 because it's on too late. And Fox Sports, they gave them the rights. And people don't watch Fox Sports the way they watch ESPN. Well, Fox Sports yeah, carries every Gonzaga game. So yeah, that's been a problem, all around. Too, people Seattle's never got any love, so it's time for the Huskies to bring it back to Seattle so we can get our due respect. The people in this country oh. were shocked when the Huskies were announced as a number one seed. And they're going to be watching you guys like they never have before. And you guys are going to relish the moment, aren't you? I think so. Hey, they're going <laughs> to shock the world. Okay. They're going to shock the world. They're going to shock the world like Ali did. Bring it home, boys. Yeah. All right, man. Oh, got to run and go into the class because uh, my mm. teacher's calling me in now. Oh, come on, Jensen. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, man. The finals <laughs> were 50%. Okay, what do you... What do, 50% of what? <laughs> yeah. You already have an A. Why are you yeah. going? <laughs> what? Well, she said I got to go be in there. What final you got? The what final you got? Tell um, me what shop. Tell me what you... It's your, uh, <laughs> It's uh, social statistics. All right, tell me what you studied last night. Tell me what you remember. Uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve I'm years. I'm going to go in there and do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a company life. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Mike. We'll talk right, to you later, man. Thanks for man. having me on. All right. He's standing outside the salon ready to get tipped again. Uh. Getting, get, getting the blondes back. <laughs> a couple of more calls for the Bobby and Trey show. You're on the air. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? What's up? So. Hey, man, I'll tell you what, real quick, I just wanted to give you guys absolute props, man. You know, I went to UW four years ago, you know, graduated, you know, and the thing is we haven't always had the best basketball season. You know, that's 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 no lie, and everybody knows that. But this year you guys came out and simply just kicked ass. I mean, you guys proved everybody wrong. The odds makers, these so-called experts that you always Oh, yeah, hear. whatever. Okay, so who's in the final four as far as who's had sex with the most women on your team? Tell me the final four <laughs> <laughs> on your roster. <laughs> Think, close your eyes for a second. Maybe the amount of women is no more than, than two. Maybe it's 2,000. I don't care. You just tell me who's in the final four as far as who screwed the most women on your team. I think they need some time. You need hey, some time? Potter. <laughs> Alex Johnson. Alex Hans Johnson. Not true and not true. Hans Gosser. <laughs> why don't we believe you? Cameron Dollar. Why do I get the sense the two of our Final Four <laughs> participants are sitting right, right here? Right here. Oh, man. <laughs> We're in denial. Are you ready to deny that you two would be a part of that Final Four, or will you admit that at this time? That if we had a Final Four as far as who screwed the most women on your team, that we wouldn't be able to leave you out? Is that true or not true? I'm pure, man. <laughs> no one's saying you're not pure. No one's saying there's anything wrong. Just saying that the reality is that you'd be part of the Final Four. Is that right or wrong? <laughs> I'm just living one day at a time. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord willing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bobby Jones, I want you to be the first to step up and say, T-Man, I accept my position in the Final Four. Sweet 16. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. No one asked her age. <laughs> right. <laughs> do you or do you not accept your position in the Final Four, Robert Jones? I will have Trey admitted. Okay. <laughs> Trey, he's going to take his spot in the we're Final the, we're Four. The oldest, so, I mean, just, you know, statistically, hey. we probably will be. If it's, so. if it's not your rightful position and you realize there's four others that are above you, then I don't want you to accept your position in the Final Four. But if you have it coming to you, then I want you to say, me and Trey both belong in the Final Four. Bobby, it seems like you want to do more than talking because each, each oh. second that passes, Trey backs away more from the microphone. Right. <laughs> Trey, now you're close to the microphone. Do you and Bobby accept your positions, or does it go to some other guys? Man, it goes to the girls' team. We'll have the girls in tomorrow. We'll ask them at that time. Right. <laughs> we'll see them both on their phone on the, during the break. Going, hey, it was just for the radio. It was just yeah. a radio thing. <laughs>
I didn't mean it. <laughs> you're my special one. Wait, dial again. No, you're my special one. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these two men, along with the rest of the team, are about to head on a big old jet plane to Boise, Idaho, where they will begin their quest <laughs> to prove to the world that they are more than deserving of that one seed. And for the next three weeks, they'll be playing basketball in front of the nation and then have it carry on to careers for the rest of their lives. Good luck to you guys. Represent a team Bring around. it home, baby. Yes, Bobby. Can I get a couple of shout-outs, man? couple of shout-outs for Bobby Jones. He's the only guy on the team not from Washington State, and yes, he, yet he has shout-outs to make. <laughs> right, exactly. Shows how quickly he's gotten himself acc- acclimated <laughs> to the uh, to the surroundings. Years. Yes, Bobby, go ahead. All right, I want to say what's up to uh, everybody listening that's on the team. I didn't make it up. Uh, the coaches, hopefully they weren't listening. <laughs> if they are, what's up? Uh, Lorenzo, uh, you just passed me a note that Lorenzo Romar's in the Final Four? Okay. Uh, <laughs> nah, he's definitely not in the Final Four. <laughs> oh, but Cameron Dollar's number one? Okay. Yeah. And then on Thursday, you see why Bobby and Trey aren't starting. Hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, continue the shout-outs. All right, I want to say uh, what's up to D-Hud. He's in the studio, Junior. Some people know him as our official mouthpiece of the team. Oh, you know. It must be Husky. Uh... That's it. Trey, anyone you want to say hi to? Oh, man. All the women that made you a Final Four member? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. Central District, the South End. All the people you yeah, Everybody, yeah. All the people you won't remember when you're a number one draft pick in the NBA? <laughs> right. <Mm-mm. laughs> Trey Simmons, a couple of months away from being drafted in the National That's Basketball right, Association. Yeah, murder. Has stopped in this morning. Bobby Jones, a junior on the UW basketball team. They're all part of the team that is representing this state that is going to do us proud. You know it. Congratulations. <laughs> and we'll talk to you next week. Because you got to come back, back on next week yeah, when you guys. get on that show. You yeah. got, they want their show. We can make it a weekly thing as, for, as long as we're still in the tournament. Yeah. We'll come up. Yeah, if you're not in the tournament, we want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the team man Let's call go through. Yes. I thought you were filling out your bracket. <clears throat> Trying to call today's winner, Terry. Mm-hmm. Oh. The person who won a seat for them and a guest on the party plane to Vegas. But if they're not there... That I guess we're short one Caribbean model. Oh, oh, I don't think no. we have a place for a Caribbean model who's not there to answer his phone, Terry. What if I was uh, Victoria's Secret wanting him to model some lingerie? He would be missing out on a great gig, wouldn't he? He would, but you're not. So, there. Well, I'm just as important right now to him. <laughs> well. I'm offering him a free trip to Vegas thanks to you, Terry. Yay! Well, he uh, technically is not a winner until he's on the phone to accept his uh, his prize. Must be Come present to win. On. Must be present to win. It says it right here. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't. On the copy, <laughs> Terry. What do you think right. if you qualified yesterday, you would know to kind of be around your phone? You would right. think you'd be yeah. aware. I better be near my phone because T-Man may call and tell me I'm a winner. And if I'm not there, he may go on to somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know how that goes Terry, with that guy. We have tons of Caribbean models to choose from. If we lose this guy, you know how many are out there in the listening audience. Come on. No big deal, right? <laughs> no, it's a big deal. So he's I, a winner. Well, he's there. It doesn't matter. He doesn't re- have to be there. He's been replaced by the Scandinavian model. No, he doesn't. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to give him one more chance. Then we move on. No. But God, he's such a model. There you go. <laughs> Helping out the other ladies on the plane. All right. <laughs> to find out he's just a hand model. Yes. <laughs> hey, they make good money, okay? That is. <laughs> Terry applied on monster.com. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't get the job. <laughs> no hand job model. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's too long a resume. Yeah, Terry called him, applying for the hand job? I did. <laughs> <laughs> How quick can you be down here? Yeah. You're hired. Where's the Caribbean model, Terry? Maybe he's on a call. Oh, of course he is. Doing some curls. Is there health coverage with that job? <laughs> oh, jeez. What did I do? Quit about, the facts. Yeah. <laughs> it starts. You won. <laughs> you did I die wrong? wrong after all that? <laughs> That's cool. They're still fax machines, though. Oh, it is. Give it another couple weeks. They'll all be gone. They sh- they're they kind of just hanging around now, yeah. When was the last time you sent a fax? 
yesterday. Oh, jeez. <laughs> my Ter point exactly. Terry's old school, though. What's my at my house? To the hand job you're applying <laughs> no. for? Yeah. You have a fax machine at your house? Hello? Uh, yes. Hey, dude. Wow. Hey, what's up? Is this Kevin? Yes. Yep. I'm sorry, is this our Caribbean? Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Why did it take me three times to call your phone to get you to answer, dude? Well, technically two. What if I was a top agency looking for your services? Hey, man, I'm working. You're working right now? Oh, dude, yeah. he's on a shoot. On a shoot. <laughs> what's your second, what's your, you, no, I don't believe he's on a shoot right now. He probably has a second job. What's your second job? You sing the national anthem at cockfights? What do you do? <laughs> that hand job thing. That hand job what, thing. What, what kind of job are you working right now? Are you on a modeling gig or what? We're remodeling a house right now. You're remodeling a house, so he keeps it all in the modeling family, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> right. Right, right now, the house is on the tanning bed. Why should a Why should a Caribbean model like yourself that has, by the way, some people sent me pictures of you online, like I was dying to say, of oh, really? your uh, you in well on the job. Let's put it that way. And uh, why should someone who's as established as yourself as a Caribbean black model? Why hey, should you on. be? Why should you be remodeling a house right now? <laughs> I never said I was a big time model. I, I do model, but so Terry, is this what you want? You want some hack, second rate, oh. part time model on your uh, party oh, plane yes. to Vegas, Terry? Yes. Oh. Someone tells me Terry needs some work done at the house too. <laughs> yeah, come on over. <laughs> Terry wants her bedroom redecorated. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, uh, is your name Kevin? Is that right? That's right. I am here to tell you, and I'm phoning you to tell you that you've officially won a seat on the party plane to Vegas. Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's the cowbell? Uh, wow. Now, is this uh, something that uh, is exciting you to great proportions? You're just oh, yeah. semi-excited, or you could care less? I'm excited, man. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh, jeez. Oh, cool. I'm and when excited. you thought about it, did you picture Terry Frey naked Jeez. or what? <laughs> I told you, he's not going for me. He's going for the young young ladies on the plane. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't qualify as a young lady on the plane? No. Oh. Mm. I'm sir? I'm having a hard time hearing you guys. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> sir, is, uh, is have you seen Terry Frey's pictures on the website or you were never interested, never curious? I'm sorry, say that one more time? Oh, geez. Have you ever seen a picture of Terry Frey? Yeah, I just recently looked, actually. Oh, have you ever called her voicemail? That kind of does it. <laughs> Shut up. Do you find her to be an attractive woman? Because I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, Kevin. She pushed hard. Oh, just she <laughs> lobbied hard to get you on this plane because you wrote the email saying you were the Caribbean model, a black man, all the things she likes to hear. You're from Antigua. Uh, she, I don't know if you saw the picture that was sent to me through email, not, Terry. Not but yet. Uh, all the things you wrote, six foot five. 190 some odd pounds she liked them all and she was not going to stop until you were a part of this party plane i appreciate that day yeah, no problem you. glad to have you aboard she expects to see the gratitude illustrated <laughs> once down in vegas of course you realize that all right oh, oh wow. we'll make it happen there you wow. go until then sir we'll be sending your you your tickets hang on the line all right Sounds great. There he goes. All right. Thanks. Yes. Cool. There's a house that's going to be better off because he's part of the remodeling job, Terry, somewhere out there. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Terry Free. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's pretty lame. Why is it lame? It's pretty sad. Oh, jeez. It's pretty pathetic. But nonetheless, it was pretty effective. <laughs> Stephen, your thoughts. What makes it sad enough, you know, that way? Because you don't expect it from Terry Free. You don't expect it from Terry Free, and Mother yet uh, we are foolish wow. not to expect it. We're foolish for feeling that way. Terry Free has uh, never changed. Still the same kook she was back when she <laughs> spent a couple of weeks at Washington State back right. in 83. <laughs> now the BJ's just sad here. That's the only difference. What years were you there, Terry? I was there, uh, 84, 85. Wow, and really? 85 and 86 wow. yeah, years. I was in third grade back then. Because <laughs> uh, the 83, 84 year, I went to Eastern Washington University. Is that right? I went to college yes. with a Rubik's Cube in a backpack. That's so exciting. Oh, I know. Okay. Go Eagles. Oh, jeez. With your Thriller album. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tough to carry around in the backpack. Doesn't really fit well. 
And now here you are, a grown adult woman yeah. with five kids. Yes, I know. Two infants. That's your husband. You remember your husband, Terry? I do. I mean, you're so consumed with the black Caribbean model. I thought I thought maybe you might have forgotten that you have a husband. No, I don't. Don't forget him. He's at home still breastfeeding the kids, and, mm. and you're. That's a fine job, Mike. You're sitting here, unable to stop salivating over the thought of your Caribbean model. He knows that I love him dearly, and yes. you know. But Just love... You can look at the menu. That's right. Love gets, a suspe- uh, gets suspended from time to time when a <laughs> black Caribbean model makes its way into your life. That's how it works. That's the way the world is, is spinning these days, and I understand. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> the T-Man. Q93, T-Man. Party Plane of Vegas is filling up fast. You're the winner, Emily. Woo! 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 Well, look at that. You just beat the house. Oh, that is so exciting. The T-Man party playing to Vegas. Vegas, baby. From singular T.I. Las Vegas. Southwest Airlines Flight 1093. Time flies. That's all you need. Good enough, I guess. Look at the time. I'm looking at the clock, Terry, and I'm noticing that we have some free time in which we can... uh, well, get back to the audience in the best way we know how, or at least one way that we know how, and that's playing a game oh. that makes them feel closer to us, Terry. Do you know what that game might be? Don't say Family Feud. We haven't played that in years. What game have we played over the past six months that brings the audience closer to your heart, Terry, that makes them feel more of a part of the family that we've been promoting for so much, uh, such a great deal of time? What game would that be, Terry? Come on. Um... I know you know. I know. It's the game that makes them embrace your vagina. It's a game that uh, makes <laughs> them feel like they're a part of your world. What game is that, Let Jay? me guess. Mm-hmm. Let's get personal. Uh, that's the one. Oh, I thought it was shaved roulette. I oh, thought just, it was match, match and win. Oh, <laughs> no, it's a game called Let's Get Personal. That means when we play this game, the listeners can ask any question they want to any of us. And all and the same we, questions you always ask. And we <laughs> have to answer them. We have to answer them. We have no choice but to answer them. And we have to answer them in the most honest fashion that is humanly possible. Yes, Terry, you're raising your hand. But remember, they have to you know, present the question the right way. Right. The correct... Phrase it in right. the proper way or else the question is immediately disqualified. Now right. I ask you... We go around the room, and I ask you for one subject that the listeners will have to abide by that is off limits. Mm. They can ask questions, but I will at least give you the opportunity to pick one subject, one bit of subject matter, that they as listeners will have to respect and acknowledge is off limits, and they're not allowed to question you about. Okay. Stephen Kilbreth? Wow, I'm first. What subject matter would you like to deem off limits... You don't have to respond to any questions about that particular subject. What's the subject? Sex. It's a pretty broad subject. Should we give him sex? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I don't know. You don't want to Come on up here, big boy. Speak for yourself. Oh, boy. He wants to wear that during sex. Boy, that sun <laughs> tells me he wears it every night. <laughs> right. <laughs> David, you're going to have to narrow it down. Sex as it pertains to who or what? Well, as it pertains to uh, anything having to do with sex. That's the subject. No, I'm not giving you that. It's too, it's too <laughs> widespread a subject. Oh, geez. <laughs> so he has to be more specific. I don't care. Ask to be more specific about, about sex with you and your wife, I'll give you that. But that doesn't cover your sexual history. you got to leave something open. No, I mean, those questions are going to come anyway. So, I mean, oh, and you'll let them through, no. so that's fine. Oh. You, you pick, <laughs> no, you pick a subject matter that's not so broad. I, I don't care. I just was saying that to be funny. I, it doesn't matter. All right, so you're leaving everything open then. Wow. Yeah, everything's wow. On the table. Steven is declining the option of taking a subject and making it off limits. No Last chance to make a subject Come off on, limits. Steven. Going once, going twice. No sale. No sale. Oh. No sale. 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 Terry, you oh now God. can pick a bit of subject matter that the listeners cannot uh, question you about. What uh, bit of subject matter would you like uh, not to have to respond to? Go ahead. Well, uh, any reference or comment about my vagina. Oh, yay! Wow. 
That's a really wide that's subject. Oh, 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 yes, it is. <laughs> But you know that's going to come anyway. You get it even not during the no, segment, so no. I don't know why you'd be anti that. Fine, that's fine. But they can ask I mean, that the, seems... the listeners can ask the question, but you don't have to respond to it. Is the is the basic premise of what I'm telling you here? Right. All right. So Stephen, it means you can hang the phone up. That's right. We, we <laughs> hang up the phone after hearing those questions. Yes. Hot shot, Scott. You've never been asked a question once during the I know, course I never of the, will be of the well. history of Let's Get Personal. But what subject matter would you like off limits? Uh, any kind of suggestion or comment about my so-called fascination I may have with fat women? What you do have. So-called may have. Those are the words I choose to use. All right, but if I make that off limits, which I'm ready to do, you have to at least acknowledge that it's true, that you have a fascination with very heavy women. You promise it's off limits? I promise it's off limits if you promise me that you'll speak the truth and tell everyone, yes, I do have a fascination with very, very big, <laughs> obese women. Wow. Like buses. Go ahead. A fascination. I do have. <laughs> Look out, big ladies! Oh, man. A pasty! Yes, give me the kettlebell. I need a bar for later on at noon. What subject matter would you like off limits? Not that you're going to get any questions. Go ahead. No, I was hoping for any notion or rumor that I am a gay man. Oh! <laughs> you don't want to answer any questions. <laughs> about whether he likes fat men. <laughs> about whether you like... Uh, men. 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 Yes. We're gay. We're gay. Okay. <laughs> Mine, as always, is uh, any uh, reference to my dick size. Okay. okay. Wow. It's hard enough to deal with on a regular basis. I don't have to hear your questions. How okay. come there's not one phone caller calling in right now? Mm. <laughs> I know. Everything's taken right. off. Everything they were interested in is yeah, off limits. So. Like, up. damn, Everyone's, never mind. Everyone dropped yeah. off the line? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Okay, now with, uh, with all that on the table, let us play a nice old-fashioned game of let's... Uh, get a uh, personal. <laughs> now, we have any of the poo in the back of the studio. Should we make them come Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Boy. Sounds like you two want to get personal with him. I got some questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, poo. Uh, good morning. Yes. That you want to be a part of Let's Get Personal? We know nothing about you. And I yet... would love to be a part of Let's Get Don't say that. That, that poor woman Don't you say scorned. Love. <laughs> poor woman I scorned. All right, Stephen, ask that poo the first question. Go ahead. Vinny, Vinny the Pooh, the Pooh is the Pooh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes, Stephen. Let's get personal. Oh, jeez. Okay. So this woman that you scorn, I mean, is it, are you going to make a habit of that? Kind of uh, going through women like it's just, uh, you Stephen know. wants to know if he can envy you and uh, <laughs> watch as you screw and then abandon women in a pattern type form. With no feeling. With no feeling. Ooh. The best way to do it. Are you going to make the that happen? I'm not yes. going to make a pattern of it, no. You're not going to make a habit of screwing women and then pretending you never knew them? No. <sighs> I'm going to try not to. I go, try? Gonna try? He's going to try yeah. not I'll, to. I'll get you to come around, dude. All right. <laughs> but if you do, can we hide in the closet more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's your first That's a good question. question. <laughs> and let's get personal. Now let's uh, go to the phones. You're on the air. T-Man. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> well, let's get personal. You know I will. All right. Seven years ago, oh, you and Mr. Can't remember this morning. Powers had a little, I don't know, fight. All right. We've had fights every year for the past no, ten one, years, but go this ahead. One, this one lasted about a good two and a half, three months straight. Really? Of the whole Flowers, Powers comment. All right. What happened to that fight? What do you mean, what I happened? thought it was the best thing ever because I don't like Eric Flowers. What? Well, who does? <laughs> but uh, I think, like I don't know if it was seven years ago, but I remember the biggest fight we ever had is when I got a listener to uh, to pee, to tinkle, <laughs> right. oh to God, piss so on the leg of Eric Flowers. Yeah. And uh, he didn't talk to me for what seemed like, well, it wasn't long enough, but it seemed like it was a good month or so, Terry. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't seem to find this great a comedy situation in that right. that I found. Those were the days. And he I was know. he was uh, threatening to, to walk from the station yeah. like he would have, right? Uh, if I didn't apologize on the air, which I never did, uh, as far as whatever happened to that argument, it just kind of petered out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you should keep going with it. Well, I mean, I do have to work with the guy. He is uh, the pro... He is the, uh, what is he? It's tough for you to say, director. I know. He's the program director. <laughs> program director. Whatever power he thinks he has, whatever title they give him that makes him feel important. Uh, I guess program director is his title, and yes. uh, I have found it since that we work in the same building and we are, uh, I guess, on the on the same station. 
What are you doing behind me? Why are you making me so nervous? <laughs> That's a weird thing to ask somebody. Else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Why, why is Pasty hovering behind me? He thinks he has something that you'd like to hear. You have what? You have audio tape from way back when? Uh oh. From Boy. that far back? Wow. Should we flash back? Yes. Well, that takes away from time, and let's get personal. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, then let's play it. Sounds good. That's a bummer. Let's hear it. <laughs> Do you want to hear the tape? Yeah. Right, well, I think, I think, you know, we should. Right, Flash here, back. <laughs> here's the tape. As I recall, we had a listener approach him pretending he was a fan. Eric had just appeared on a morning TV show, and he was getting all cocky. That's what it was. He was bothering me because he was getting all cocky because they kept asking him to go on this stupid morning show on a station that I don't even think exists anymore on TV. Q13 still around? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, they're around. And uh, But their morning show needed work at that time. I think uh, it's gotten better. But back then, it was it was horrible. There's no better way to fix a morning show than put Eric Powers That's on. That's right. <laughs> and Eric was getting all big time because uh, he was on that show. So I had a listener wait outside of the broadcast after he was finished with it, pretend like they were asking him for an autograph. And then uh, while he was signing the piece of paper, the listener peed on his leg. Right. <laughs> That's nice. Let's flash back to that moment oh. in a very... Very, very uh, highly anticipated team in the morning. Flashback. Walking slowly. He has his producer by him. Let Charlie take it from here. I don't see him yet. You don't see him? No. Do you know what he looks like, Charlie? Yeah, the red-headed step child. Okay, good. He's a fire crotch, right? Right. Do you see him yet, Charlie? Yeah, I see him. Okay. Being casual. Good yeah. night. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Pretty good. Oh, it's not too much. What are you doing here? Oh, Actually, I came to he's come down to see Eric. Oh, you did? Yeah. My na my niece is like a really big fan of his. Hey, hey, Eric. 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 What? Would, would you mind signing a little autograph for like my niece yeah, cool. and stuff? Please, what's your name? My name. My name's Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. And can you sign it to to Vanessa? To Vanessa. Yeah. My, did you watch the morning live in Q13? No, were you on this morning? How'd you know I was there? Huh? No, excuse me. Jeez, how rude. Who's Vanessa? Vanessa, that's my niece. <laughs> oh, just. Oh, oh, I got him, got him, got him, got him. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, got him. Not a problem. You got him? I got him. It's done? I got him. The package has been delivered? <laughs> the package has been delivered. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, uh, he's pissed. Oh, literally. <laughs> he, threw, <laughs> he threw the pen. He, he oh, yeah, he's pissed. He what, lifeguard? He threw the pen. He threw the pen? Yeah, and ran. Because <laughs> he didn't quite notice at first. Oh, it takes a while for it to soak through. Ah! That's right. <laughs> Cube 93, I need to bring this up because I've uh, a lot of people have been commenting on this, and I just I need to say how I feel. So many people have been um, calling and coming up to me today to the point where I kind of feel i got to say something about what happened on the T-Man show this morning. And all I have to say is this. I'm expecting the management of our radio station is going to take some strong disciplinary action against the T-Man for what he did to me today. I think it was absolutely uncalled for. It was unnecessary, and I, I didn't find it funny. And the management of Cube 93 for too long has had this don't, you know, uh, mess with the T-Man attitude and letting him get away with whatever he wants to get away with. So let me say right now that if our radio station doesn't take some sort of action against the T-Man, then that would be more of a slap in the face than uh, what he did to me today. Let me end by saying this. I don't want to talk about it ever again. And if Cube 93 doesn't do anything to the T-Man for what happened today earlier on his show, then... Uh, then I'm going to be turning in my resignation at five o'clock on Thursday, and I'll, this will be the last couple of shows I do because I'm sick of uh, I'm sick of the attitude that I have to deal with. Cube ninety three, you can uh, you can hit the promo. Man, that wasn't just an idle threat. That was <laughs> terrific. <laughs> I know. And one thing I definitely have to correct him on. Hmm. Everything that comes out of my mouth is funny, Terry. Yeah. So the fact that he found it not funny is just him <laughs> and his <laughs> lack of uh, sense of humor. True. All right. Mm -hmm. he doesn't know any Got better. it. Everything I say is funny! <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually was. You fire crotch! <laughs> oh, he's getting hot. Man, no. he's fired up again. <laughs> Reminded me how much he needed to be peed on, Terry. Boy, let's get personal some more. <laughs> well, he learned quickly yeah. that management was not about to do anything to me, didn't he? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And now he just accepts his urine like a man. <laughs> so, wow. is so is Thursday come yet? Has he resigned? <laughs> well, that was a fun game of Let's Get Personal, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah. it was. All right, we may have time for one or two more calls. Yes, you're on the air. Hello. 
Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, indeed. That was the greatest moment of all time on Eric. <laughs> uh, Terry, be free. Let's get personal. Okay. This is actually directed towards two individuals, you and uh, another individual in the room. Have you and T-Man ever had sexual relations? And if so, how long did it last? Well, About two minutes, it, right? No. <laughs> there was one time in a car. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe we always talk about this. There was one time in a car. There was. Yes. Right, let's leave it at that. <laughs> well, you got to finish if you're going to start a one. Well, it didn't get finished. This was like 96, right, Terry? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I whipped it out. Terry started laughing, and that was the end of our sexual history. <laughs> so the answer, technically, is no. Right. Well, what's this about the car, though? I've never heard that. I've yes, heard it. you have. Actually, I've, 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 never ha I've never heard it. You've you heard it. You just too, Steven. try to suppress it yeah. because you really want to have sex Did with you guys, like, make out or something? And you don't have the guts to try. Did you guys make was out? Was it, like, on the way to Tacoma or yes. in Tacoma? See, yes. I listen. It was in a traffic jam right. on the way and to And, in the, fact, you called Stephen. the 5 o'clock traffic jam? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Stupid. You're an idiot. <laughs> I was bored. Me and Terry were stuck in traffic. I showed her that I had drawn wood. <laughs> yes, he did. And but that was, was it. That's as far as it went. That was it. I was a kid. I needed the money. <laughs> this was. Uh, did you? This was before Jeez, the. God, wow. Well, we don't grill you so after upset. the questions. Are I didn't yeah, really do actually. I didn't really want it. I was bored in the car. We were stuck in the back seat of a somebody's vehicle. Yeah. We were in a we were in a town in car. Town car. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I blocked it out. I did not you know did. any of that. Yes, you did. The reason we I didn't. you, Stephen, getting to find out what was wrong with traffic. No, the reason you know, me had I known you guys were doing it, I would not. <laughs> the reason me and Terry Free have worked so well over the years and we're such great friends, let me just make this very clear, <laughs> is that even though we're both highly sexual individuals as it pertains to the opposite sex, we are extremely uh, uh, just horny and uh, nymphomaniac-like. We are not remotely attracted to one another. <laughs> And yet we almost did it. <laughs> well, well. So, if you start a new job, make sure you're not attracted to whoever you work with, right? That's the key to success. That's right. <laughs> you're on the air. Wow, that's, this, is, this has been a great game. I could have never <laughs> worked with Terry over the years if I was attracted of to course. her. Come on. Still do her if I right out. If I was really bored, I would still do her though. See, but only if you're bored. That's not very nice to her though. To no, say. three jobs ago you would have. <laughs> wow. You don't have to anymore. <laughs> Go ahead, yes, sir. Thanks, Hotshot. But I, I still win. <laughs> yeah, no. girlfriend. Uh, yes, sir. Let's get personal. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> yes, why, sir. Why do, we, why do we doubt that? Steven, um, are you and Amy planning to have any uh, kids anytime soon? Well, I would think that that's in the, in the cards at some point. And that's all the answer you're going to give? Yeah. Well, what, what more do you want? I don't well, have a specific date. Well, the man is acknowledging you've been married for a, a healthy bit of, of time, and there seems to be no uh, inner workings that we're aware of as far as extending your family. He'd like a target date. He'd like well, a, I don't have a target He'd like date. a ballpark <laughs> figure as far as when we can be expecting a little bit of a kill breath running around. June 3rd. Of what year? I don't know. No, I would think I would think it would be happening happening sooner than, than later. But I, I don't so know. So have you been talking about trying? I love Let's Get, let's get Personal. Hope we're doing all these conversations. <laughs> well, but see, but see, then you... Have you been... He is. Have you been talking about a plan? Maybe the weaning of uh, her getting off of the birth control pill, if that's what she's on. Or maybe you're on the pill. I don't know. <laughs> we... <laughs> Has there been any conversations of... Woo! What was that all about? Steve going crazy. That's what it's come down to. He's finally lost. No, there's it. somebody there's, brought in donuts. There, <laughs> there's definitely plans, but there, I don't have any sort of information for you that would uh, that well, would help your. Tell help. me about the conversation. What are the plans? Do you want to have kids? Sure. Do you want to have kids? Sure. We should start thinking about that, and then that's you know, and we'll see where it leads. I think that it'll probably end up happening sometime soon. Stephen, if you see someone outside of the studio ask for your autograph. You better run ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever does, so mm -hmm. I would be suspicious if somebody asked. Okay, I promise this. The next time we play Let's Get Personal, yes. we're going to play it for a lot longer, Terry. Oh, Because gee. I thought we had a long period of time, and yet we've been playing it for 20 minutes. i got three questions. <laughs> we had to hear that audio. Honey, I, oh, we'll try to sneak in one or two more. You're on the air. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Let's Get Personal. Go ahead. Okay, T-Man. Have... You ever before your marriage with your wife and wait, wait, wait. After Ask it right. Marriage with your wife. Have you been unfaithful? 
I wanted to ask the question, then I wanted to disqualify her. I'd love to answer that question. Yeah, she did. But technically, I can't answer that question because no. she didn't follow the format. Oh. She didn't. Dummy. But I will answer the question. With all my previous girlfriends, I was as unfaithful as it gets, and I'm I'm uh, very proud of it. <laughs> proud well, that's of it. good to know. <laughs> that's very honest, too. <laughs> that is very honest. All right. Gotcha. But those days are now over, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm actually awaiting their return. Oh, wow. <laughs> right, <though. laughs> but for the are future... You're standing you, at the airport with a sign. <laughs> if you want these questions answered, you have to ask them with the proper format. We're not asking too much of you, are we? No. One last question. You're on the air. Uh, Terry, uh, let's get personal. Oh. Actually, that's really also not the correct format. No, you're right. It's, it's not. not. Yeah, you have to say... Let Shut me up, make this. Man. Let me make this clear. Oh boy! Oh boy. Well, I'll phrase that in a question, sir. And <laughs> you have to say Terry, and then wait for her to greet you back. Terry. Yeah. Uh, let's get personal. Okay. That was a Is perfect that example. Team, That's, That's better, better, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how many men have you been with, Terry? Oh, in your life? And don't lie, bitch. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Uh, I started having sex when I was fifteen. <laughs> As we all know, mm. and uh, we heard nine, but go ahead. So that was in the seventies, right? <laughs> yes. And I have had uh, seventeen men. Whatever. You know, I'm not going to play this game anymore. Liars. People can't be honest. Yeah. We so, didn't so, ask so about your, it? We didn't ask about your wildest weekend, Terry. Wild weekend. <laughs> we asked about the entire scope of your sexual life. I just told you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you know the rule, sir. Are you there, sir? Oh, he's gone. You know the rule. The rule is that you multiply every woman's answer by three, and you divide every man's answer when you ask them how many women they've had sex with by three. It's the rule of three. So if we are to take that rule and believe in it, Terry, then you've had sex with, I wish I could do the math, uh, 34, uh, 51 men. So 51 it. men seems a little bit closer to the probable number. Let's make it 53 after the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the show just ended! He's an honorary member of the Wu-Tang Clan. Ours to the people. Q93. Hey, what's up? It's Eric Powers to the people.